scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are holy. privilege to bring the word of the Lord to us every time and see the most powerful thing about the word of God is its ability to produce results if the word of God did not have the ability to produce results we will be wasting our time I just want you to imagine for one minute that everything you have believed were a lie that would be a complete waste of time years invested in the pursuit of the spirit only to find out it's a lie but we thank the lord because that which is written here is true it can change lives you hear the testimonies all the time and tonight we will be changed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i think a lot and one of the things that i think about is the level of transformation an impact that God has granted unto us as individuals and as a ministry to be able to communicate a dimension of spiritual reality to help build and strengthen the body of Christ and I think it's a great privilege you see the more you know God the more you see how easy it is for him to do without you are we together the more you know God, the more you have an encounter with His might. The more you see how small and inconsequential you are in the overall equation of His will. And then you see how much is a privilege for Him sometimes to have to wait on you and wait on your will to cooperate with Him before He moves. Are we together? And our lives... Um, are a reflection of such a testimony that it looks as though it is difficult for God to do without us although he has all the power and he seems to always patiently carry us along his program and it's a privilege for us to represent his purposes not only in this city but in many regards around different areas of this nation and around the world it's a pleasure and it's a privilege and we thank him let us never forget these things there's so many people thousands of people following us right now from different parts of the world we are here different people coming from different places um, you know sometimes 
we get so used to how easy the anointing of the spirit can make things become that we think it is so for everyone and sometimes we get so familiar with the dealings the operation of god's anointing that when we take our time to lavishly give him thanks like this it looks like a waste of time but then the success and everything that you see in our lives and as a ministry is built on laws and one of it is a heart that is passionately committed to saying thank you are we together if if this is all we do today as boring as it may seem as unspiritual as it may seem and as spiritually basic as it may seem for many this is the key that has kept god in touch with many mighty people they know how to go back and say lord thank you your grace your grace i'm nothing without you it's your grace your grace shines on me sing it from your heart your grace your grace i'm nothing without you your grace your grace shines on me shines on me shines on me but i'm everything with you shines on me shines on me it's your grace hallelujah lord we sincerely thank you we sincerely thank you for the privilege of being the ones to partner with you in birthing such magnificent testimonies in the lives and the destinies of people it is not within the power of any man to change any life but with god all things are possible and lord we thank you for being the secret the mystery the law and the reason behind our success and the lifting why should i care what people say they don't know what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me truly they don't what you mean to me they don't know what you mean to me but i'm glad i know what you mean to me i'm glad i know what you mean to me you are the air I breathe. You are the air that I breathe. Your very presence that is living in me. Just let me pour out my heart for a few moments before his presence. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. Your very word that is for
I'm lost without you. It's not a song, it's the truth. And I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. Shabakata la baratosu. This is part of the meeting. It's an atmosphere for you. of saying thank you to the one who has made us all that we are. We sincerely acknowledge you. You are faithful. Above and beyond our limitations and weaknesses, you are faithful. You have chosen us and you have put your name upon our lives and destinies. You see the wonder, the wonder you have made out of our lives. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Sabakota Kashi. Zikoto Sukoto Kabaraki. Take your place, take your place, take your place, take your place, call his name, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Call his name, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Call his name, the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take your place. Yo 
Just hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Just hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Just make contact. Oh, like a bride waiting for her groom. Even so, come. Even so, come. Even so, come. Kapara kota shabrandi gera tusa. Shaka te bra, shaka te bra, shaka te bra. Shaka bara da bara da bara. Bena na ma na ma so Keep praying, keep praying.
Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. If you are sick in your body, just lay your hands there. There is a strong healing anointing in this place right now. You are sick anywhere in your body. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. I see the power of God about to touch people in a few minutes. Miracles of healing. The Lord is healing migraine headache right now. There are people suffering from intense migraine headache. The power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Right now, right now, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a lady having severe, like, like menstrual cramps, severe menstrual cramps. Right now, as I speak, the power of God is touching, 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 touching. That pain leaves right now. That pain leaves right now. There is a spirit that has been walking with a lady. You literally feel as if there is a man walking by your side. That spirit is leaving you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. That spirit is leaving you right now. This is Zion, the city of the Lord. There's someone, your voice, for a while your voice has been unable to be clear. It's like there's something hooking you. You're going to feel like fire on your throat right now. Right now. And your voice will come back to normal. Right now. Right now, hotness of the body. That's what the Lord is telling me. Father, we give you all the glory. Hotness of the body. Hotness of the body is living right now. There is someone you brought your mother. Your mother is in this place. She's been unable to sleep for a long time. She can't even sleep. But right now, the power of God is coming upon her. And that devil is giving way right now. 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 There's someone you have a boil, like a boil in your nose, right inside your nose. The power of God is touching it. Not only will it be healed, it will disappear right away. You will touch it and you will not feel anything. Right now, the Lord is touching. The Lord is touching. The Lord is touching. I'm seeing a river in the realm of the spirit. That's what I'm seeing flowing into this place. A river. Is a river of miracles many will be swept by that river 
is a river that flows from the love and the throne of God. It's a river bringing healing, bringing healing, bringing healing. There are, there are miracles going on, healing miracles. Zekate parato shaba karyanda kapros kotosh kepres ketos shapres ketos sepatari ketos abaria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a spectacular miracle that the Lord wants to do for many people. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a group of people in the realm of the spirit. You used to hear God in profound dimensions. But from the beginning of this year, something happened to your hearing. And it's an attack from the gate of hell. Now please pay attention. I'm speaking by the spirit. It's an attack from darkness upon your hearing. And it's like something has closed you some of you don't even know you are part of it i'm about to pray for you because that that prophetic dimension you need it to hear what i want to teach you tonight you need it there are some dimensions of spiritual communication that you cannot understand it scientifically and the lord is asking me to pray therefore father i stretch my hands on your people every gate of the prophetic that has been closed every gate every gate the hearing ear let that grace be released Right now, the hearing ear, the hearing ear, Sata Kaparata. Many of you will hear the sound of angels instantly, instantly, inside, outside, those following on our social media platform. The Lord is opening, the Lord is opening prophetic dimensions, the hearing of the spirit, authentic hearing, not nonsense, an authentic hearing. Shakataba. For some of you, it is restoration, restoration, restoration. What happened to your hearing that you no longer hear the sounds of the spirit? Like fire is coming on the ears of people. Fire, 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 fire falling on people. Fire, a restoration of hearing, a restoration of hearing a restoration of hearing lift your hands there are people here your dreams used to be prophetic but it was and my God, it's a something is happening to your spirit man the hand of god is coming upon your spirit man the hand of god coming upon your spirit man right now three Stretch dreams where you will understand the counsel of God in the visions of the night. The counsel of God in the visions of the night. The counsel of God in the visions of the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last thing I'll pray for before we sit down is sensitivity. Listen, let me tell you. If you lack sensitivity in this season and in this time, you will never be able to be in sync with what God is saying. Sensitivity is like breathing in the realm of the spirit. To be able to understand the impulses of the spirit and align yourself with what the spirit is doing and saying. He said the sons of Issachar, they had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do. I want to pray for you. There is a grace that makes men sensitive. Many of us used to be sensitive, especially our sisters. Something has happened to your sensitivity. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. This is a mountain of the Lord's house where grace is sufficient. Grace is sufficient. Right now, I stretch my hands. May that grace begin to fall on men and women. Let it fall, let it fall. Sensitivity, discernment, sensitivity, discernment. Sensitivity, discernment to the speakings of the Spirit. Sensitivity, discernment to the speakings of the Spirit.
mighty on your throne mighty on your throne you were mighty on your throne hey mighty on your throne you were mighty in this place mighty on your throne you were mighty on your throne mighty on your throne you were mighty on your Mighty on your throne. You were mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. Mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. You were mighty in my life. You were mighty in my life. Mighty in my life. Mighty. Father, we pray that you go ahead and do everything you intend for us to experience tonight. Right beyond our dimensions, right beyond our perceptions, right beyond our yieldedness. And oh God, I pray that you activate strange things in the lives of people. Strange things in the lives of people. Please sit down carefully if you can. Tonight will be a night of strange impartations. If you can, just sit down and let your heart be open. Let your spirit be sensitive. No carelessness, no distraction. Please. Koinonia is a place of impartation. You need impartation to rise and step into your prophetic destiny. There are times that certain things need to be activated. Nothing can cover for noise and stories. You must come into the reality of certain experiences. And impartation is one of the platforms that can bring you into those realities. Once again, I welcome everyone. This is Koinonia. Tonight is a night of strange impartations. And there is a reason why God is doing it. There is a reason why God is bringing us to this dimension of impartations. It's not just for nothing. Listen, in the course of my teaching, I'll be very brief tonight. But in the course of my teachings, there will be different kinds of anointings just coming in. You get this in Koinonia. Koinonia is a place where things are activated. And so when your word comes, it will come upon you. Yours is just to be sensitive. As I teach, there will be dispensing of graces. Dispensing of graces. Be sensitive. Don't just hear what I'm saying. A time will come. Yours will come upon you. So it's going to be a noisy meeting. Don't worry. You will hear what I'm saying. But as I teach, people will receive things. Will receive things. Inside, outside, everywhere. You will receive things. Shabratu sakuratu sabrita shidahari. Dembroto subrakatabaria. Listen. The church must pay the price for a genuine anointing that will really be able to bring God to the scene. The church must pay Pay the price for a genuine, authentic anointing that will be able to bring true results for people. The only way we can become a revelation of the Christ, I'm telling you this, is to contend for a dimension in the spirit that affords us the privilege of hosting superior dimensions of the presence and the power of God. Talk is cheap. It's easy to make a lot of noise in the body of Christ. It's easy to stand upon many doctrinal and theological dissertations communicating the things that we believe should be. But in the final analysis, people need to experience the reality of the kingdom. 
and i think this is where a lot of we pastors have not done justice for people a lot of us are speaking prophets a lot of us are mighty pastors and apostles and prophets and bishops we can communicate spiritual reality but the challenge is when it comes to the practical demonstration of the essence of our communication we try to create all kinds of theological excuses so there are so many things we teach that god is there are so many things we teach that god can do there are so many realities we we whet the appetite of god's people by opening them up to the possibilities that can be in the spirit but it is so frustrating when people's appetites are to the apex yet we sustain the power and the life to experientially draw them into those experiences so we teach on healing we teach on different kinds of healing different dimensions of healing and then in the final analysis the sick person still goes back sick the cancer patient still goes back with, with their cancers we are happy about dispensing theologically arranged communications but the bible says listen the bible tells us that the gospel listen is not just about the excellency of speech right but the demonstration of power to the end that the faith of people will not be founded upon the wisdom of men but upon the power of god no matter what you say about god if you cannot bring him to the scene for me to relate with his might you have wasted my time i may applaud you for your intelligence and your ability to be flawless in your research but let me tell you something in the final analysis people need to be transformed demons are not a theory they are real sicknesses are not a theory they are real oppression is not a theory it is real poverty is not a theory it is real only preaching largely are theories blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god hallelujah the lord showed me a vision a few days ago and in that vision i saw so many people in the church weary and tired that's what i saw in the vision including pastors i saw people seated and stranded no message because everything to be preached have been preached i saw members frustrated and humiliated and the lord began to reveal to me that it is a strategy please pay attention it's a prophetic teaching tonight it's a strategy by the kingdom of darkness because when you study when you listen to my teaching why revivals fail i shared with you dear a strategy with which satan uses to defeat many believers satan will never strike you at your point of strength he knows that all men are human although we are divine there is a human component to us so the moment you are doing the work of the kingdom advancing the purposes of the kingdom fervent in prayer strong in the world the devil will not attack you he knows that there is one thing that is common to all men is called exhaustion the reality of our humanity that no matter how powerful you are no matter how anointed you are a time must come when the reality of your humanity will meet up with you it is at that point that men are separated from the boys it is at that point that only those who sustain a system in the spirit to continue will stand i saw that vision i saw faces i recognized and i could not believe that such great men could be weary now you see a man of god can be weary and you will not know because don't mistake the grace upon a man to dispense truth and his personal growth and progress 
There are two different things. I can be as dry and weary as whatever. But when I stand upon this pulpit, the anointing that comes with my office will make me act so flawless you will not know that I'm at the verge of giving up. Are we together? Most times, we're mistaking the grace and the unction that accompanies the office of a man to mean that because that grace looks ever fresh, ever flowing in power, that it necessarily means the person is highly motivated and happy. No, there are times I've been so tired, physically tired, going for meetings. And I, I can sometimes it looks like I can't stand for 15 minutes. But the moment I hold that mic, I no longer become Joshua Selman. An apostolic anointing comes and I can stand for hours. Now, you may mistake in my strength to mean that I am not weak. Do you know sometimes when I get back home, even to eat becomes a problem? Are we together? So I saw weariness in that vision. I saw many people gassing out in prayer. Literally like a meter just diminishing. I saw people gassing out in their word level. And one of the areas that I saw people crying is the area of not getting results financially and otherwise. It was frustrating people. I saw quarrels between people. Fathers, mothers, different people. I saw pastors fighting themselves. And I was wondering what is the meaning of all this nonsense. And the Lord told me this is what the devil wants to bring. He's taking advantage of the economic tide. That is sweeping the nations as a tool and he wants to wreak havoc in the lives of people are we together part of the advantages of a true apostolic ministry is to have an eye that sees and the ability to perceive the impulses of the spirit part time and communicate to people the realities that are the emphasis of god for that moment that's why we pray for perception because there are many of us if your perception were alive you would have picked the signal let me tell you something it's important to gauge your spiritual growth don't let men clap you into spiritual mediocrity what are you an mog for when you cannot perceive the impulses of the spirit what are you a campus fellowship president for or a pastor or an apostle when the things of the spirit happen Discussions are going on in the realm of the spirit and your presence cannot be registered because you have not sustained an ability to rise beyond your flesh and understand the speakings of the spirit. Hallelujah. Ministry is not all about preaching but the ability to perceive the impulses of people. When God makes you a leader, he commits unto you the destinies of people. It's your responsibility now to be in sync with the spirit. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 says, I will stand upon my watch and I will set myself upon the tower. It says, and I will see what the Lord will say. Not hear what he will say. See, perceive, conceive what he's saying. When I saw this, my heart really broke. Especially when I saw faces I could recognize. I saw that people had gas out. Truly. Mothers who used to have a very strong prayer altar. I saw the thing going down. Usually it starts through carelessness. Here and there. Even if you don't pray one week, it doesn't matter. There's grace for me, I'll come again. And then before you know it, completely void of power. And you know the interesting thing? No matter how bad you are, the devil will never strike you. He's smart. If he strikes you, you will go for a retreat very fast. And you will come back. So he will allow you to keep moving. There is a threshold level. It's like a gauge in the spirit. You keep going down, he will not strike keep going down one day he will aim at you and if not for the mercy of god and the prophetic he will hit you bad blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Father. Hallelujah. I will share with you three keys the Lord revealed to me. That if not managed, will strengthen the power of darkness to cause the havoc that it plans to cause. Take note of this month, July. You see, this month, July, there is, there is intense warfare going on in the realm of the spirit. Those who are sensitive, no. Those who are not sensitive, just assume and move carelessly and foolishly until they become victims. This month, mark this month, July, you see, is a month of intense spiritual building. You need to build capacity for the months to come. Victory is assured, but the strength of many will be tested in the months to come. You will see this happen. The strength of men of God, the strength of people, they are, their spiritual capacity will be tested. And only those who have built fortification in the spirit, the Bible says for us to redeem the time, take advantage of the time, are we together? So the devil is attacking the prayer lives of people. Dramatically. You see, he's not attacking it by stopping you from praying. I will show you the things. The first thing that the devil is using to sabotage the prophetic advancement of believers and the church. Listen, is exhaustion. The reality of the weariness of our bodies the reality of that weariness exhaustion psychological exhaustion physical exhaustion are we together so when people gas out they come to a point where it no longer makes sense to wait upon the lord and trust the lord because many hopes have been disappointed many dreams seemingly look like they are shattered people look at their experience versus their prophecy and it does not match and so many are fainting including the great ones who should stand to strengthen many people and there's nothing to be embarrassed there that's why god is opening us up to it so that we will rise is god blessing us exhaustion weariness that fatigue that spiritual fatigue where you want to study your bible and you just look at it and it looks like a burden you want to open your bible and study it looks like a burden you buy books but you don't read them you buy dvds but you can't watch them there seems to be a spirit that takes advantage of our humanity and our weariness so you are buying books you are buying tapes you are downloading messages those around will think you are taking advantage of them but you know that it's been a long time since you made contact with these resources not because you are not of god it's called weariness exhaustion even the young men shall faint and the youth will utterly fall he says that's the first thing that i saw that the devil is taking advantage of to destroy people just destroy people just destroy people the second thing that the lord revealed to me is financial limitation write it down i saw a lot of people whose focus had been distracted and the reason was because there were no resources i saw churches groups people even people who used to participate actively in the house of god prayer meetings prayer groups the reality of the stress and strain that lack of finances brings a lot of people started asking themselves questions look we're, we're humans let's go and, and and solve our family needs first and it's a plot it's a plot by darkness are we together where believers go to pray and they can't pray because of financial weariness and even if they pray the entire circumference of their prayer is lamentation and a plea for open heavens you may not realize it but it's a strategy it's a strategy listen let me tell you something satan weighs the governments of nations like a treasure on a balance 
and manipulates them according to his desire. This thing called mammon is Satan's weapon of mass destruction. Mammon. Mammon. That spirit, the only spirit that Jesus taught that you can worship either him or that spirit. He never said Satan. He said you cannot serve two masters. So in any way, your servanthood must be registered. Either to God or to mammon. Hallelujah. In that vision, I saw people losing jobs. Companies downsizing people. There are not many times you hear me speak prophetically like this. But you write it and see. I saw it happening to people. Are we together? Several people confused. Even, do you know that pastors and churches went down financially because their members didn't have the means, you know, offerings and tithes and all of that. And it was a weariness to people. And subtly, the teachings about spiritual growth, the teachings about empowerment, intimacy, encounter, began to diminish because the pastors were forced to have to continue talking about finances. It became as though it was the only key that would have to keep the people coming to the churches. Are we together? When I saw this thing, my heart dropped. And I said, my God, what is this? You have to do something about this nonsense because the devil wants to take advantage of the economic tide that is sweeping Africa and that spirit that is sweeping Nigeria. That bitterness, that offense. Many people no longer pay attention to God. You meet somebody and talk to him about spiritual growth and the person will even tell you to go away. Why? Because we have said it unapologetically in this ministry that when your finances is not secured it will affect your spiritual life there's no confusion about it i hope you believe what i'm sharing with you oh please you better do please you better do because it will happen the third thing i saw was it's like flies you know how house flies like a swarm of flies now there are times i've seen these things prophetically and i've shared them here over but i saw a swarm of flies just coming across regions ah, and i looked at it and the lord took my mind back to the plague one of the plague that happened in the days of moses when those the swamp of flies came around and began to consume people and i had in my spirit the ministry of the devourer manifesting as sicknesses manifesting as tragic events and ultimately death i saw this thing rampant manifestation of mysterious sicknesses that cannot be diagnosed in hospitals they will check you with machines and say nothing is, is happening blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed are you, for you come in the name of our God. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I saw the tears in Nigeria in the month of September it was almost unbearable I'm not just listen to me I've not finished preaching I'm not a prophet of doom but I saw it was bad economically and otherwise it was it was like this country was completely clueless and at a point of a mess I saw people being um, what do they call it laid off from work completely laid off husbands wives laid off their services were no longer needed in different sectors including government sectors they downsized people because they needed to accommodate what was happening are we together 
I saw an increase in crime rate, theft, stealing, including stealing people, not just stealing things, stealing people. Why is God revealing this? To scare you? No. God is revealing this to strengthen you. He will never bring a prophecy without a strategy. Just keep following. There is always an exemption for the church. But the problem most times is we don't pay attention. There are people who hear what I'm saying now. I'm, I'm sorry, especially for elderly people. They just shut down and say, all these idiots talking again. And then until it happens, and then we become victims of situations and circumstances. You see, let me tell you something. Prophecy, prophecy in its purest form was designed not just to give people, to make people privy to something that will happen. The most important part of prophecy is the strategy for exemption. Not what will happen, the strategy for exemption. Any true prophet that brings a word from the Lord, especially if it's a word that is on the negative side, if it came from God, God must be able to speak to his people and say, this is a strategy. You can choose it. Especially for certain things that are written judgments. You cannot pray them away. But there is a system. Like the flood of Noah. There was a system that was built called the ark. Like the passing of the angel of death upon Egypt. The mystery of the blood of the lamb and the Passover. Right? It was the mystery of exemption. But you see the church. We, we have this ugly mentality which came from a misguided understanding of what the new testament teaches i can relate with god i don't need to hear anybody leave me alone if he's so god will speak to me if god has not spoken to me i will not listen let me tell you something listen i was teaching the school of ministry students our spiritual growth is based on our personal relationship with the lord jesus christ but the advancement of the kingdom is based on covenants you have to understand this your spiritual growth and my spiritual growth is based on my personal encounter, my knowledge of who God is, his ways, and that's how I grow. In the Old Testament, it used to be through prophets and mediums. But now the Bible tells us that Jesus has come as a mediator. He's opened a new and living way to all of us. We can now access God directly in terms of spiritual growth. But the advancement of God's kingdom is not general god finds men and enters a covenant with those men to represent his dealings in a particular dimension and every time god wants to deal with the territory in that dimension it must come through those channels they are called spiritual tribes they represent the communication of god's purposes in a dimension so when you talk about faith Every time God wants to bring his speakings as regards the word of faith, there are spiritual channels he has entered a personal covenant with and aligned them to be able to communicate his purposes in that respect. Bishop Oyedeko, Kenneth Copeland, you can trace that spiritual tribe and they represent his communications in that regard. Are we together? There are other dimensions. When the spirit of revival wants to fall upon the nation, there are people who represent the spiritual tribe that communicates that reality to the world. It's not general. So your tapping into that possibility only becomes on the strength of your alignment with what God is doing. When God wants to come in in the area of finances and prosperity, I know that everyone will be blessed, but there are people who have a personal covenant with God that represent his speakings in that regard. You will never ignore their ministry and hear the current dealings of the spirit as far as that is concerned. So the advancement of the kingdom is not based on personal relationship. It's based on covenants. God calls a man called Abraham. The first man in the Bible who showed us that men can walk by faith with God. Are we together? He is God's type of faith. The only reason why we can tap into the possibilities of God as far as the blessing is concerned is on the strength of the covenant that God entered with one man called Abraham. Are we together? When God wanted to salvage a nation, 
he used one man called Moses entered a personal covenant with Moses that afforded Moses an unusual access to God beyond his personal spiritual growth because Moses himself did not make the cut to the promised land how be it based on that covenant to an extent that although Moses may have failed spiritually in the book of Jude an angel came to carry his body and Satan still wanted the dead body because they represent systems they are not just human beings they are systems Elijah was a man who represented God's system God's covenant of reformation God's covenant of of um, forerunning revivals he's called Elijah the Tishbite are we together so by the time you allow people to begin to corrupt your mind and say don't make it look like only some people can hear God no the idea is not a show of superiority the idea is an election by grace where men have become like trees they are like spiritual vines and your connection to them is how you are able to tap into certain possibilities I've shared it with us here Abraham gave birth to Ishmael with Hagar is that true Hagar was crying Ishmael was crying but the Bible says God had the voice of the young lad not the voice of Hagar why because when God looked at Ishmael he saw Abraham and received and saw the covenant God more often times to say he blessed Solomon for the sake of his father David Are we together? When the kingdom was about to be advanced after Christ came, he got 12 men, entered a personal covenant with them. Listen, let me tell you, there is a difference between those apostles and us. We are equal in Christ, but they were men who entered a certain kind of covenant with God that represented the advancement of God's kingdom. If Satan killed all those 12 apostles, the kingdom could not be advanced. Because it was through them that it would be spread. That's why God protected them. Angels had to come and open prisons to force them to go out. Are we together? One man called John, the beloved, had a personal understanding. It was his personal covenant with God that granted him access to show us the revelation, the apocalypse, the unfolding of prophecy. There are still men like that on the earth. They are not many, but they are. In fact, the system of God's electing these men is always in twelves. There's no time to teach you on that. That God's apostolic governing system is always in twelves. So in, in regions, you will always find this number, twelve. The apostolic spiritual governing council of God. They may not even know themselves. But they represent God's order of activities. Are we together? But you see, when the devil wants to deceive you, he will bring pride and make you look like I can access the throne of God by myself. I am I don't need to hear anything. Even when God is giving a word of caution, most times we don't listen and we say, No, 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 I'm nobody should do this and that and that. And then you know, um, I don't even want to go into that that teaching because it will take our whole time. As you know, I love the body of Christ. I am the last person who will fight the body of Christ. I love the body of Christ and I love the different dimensions of spiritual operation, but then I am always quick to attack imbalances especially when they get to a level where they can corrupt the authenticity of the work of believers the moment an imbalance gets so bad that it can bring you out of spiritual alignment it calls for concern are we together and one of it is of course as we know the concept of grace are we together now now when you understand the concept of grace and you isolate it with respect to other things that God is doing it becomes an error grace as a doctrine on its own is an error 
it only makes sense when you add it together and you piece it together with every other thing God is doing when you study the book of Ephesians the book of Ephesians theologically speaking contains the highest church truth are we together where Apostle Paul was teaching the church he was giving them certain doctrines the entire scope of a Christian experience six chapters which were a communication of the entire activities of the believer so it starts theologically speaking with what we call sitting right you've heard you've read that and many of you have heard it in different messages it was that revelation came by a man called watchman knee watchman knee was the, the the apostle that god used to communicate the realities of redemption in a very balanced and authentic way to the body of christ and so that position of sitting the bible starts in the book of ephesians teaching us how in fact when it starts in chapter one it never talks about us it talks about christ and all that he has done when you start reading chapter two it now brings us into the scene right we are now raised up with christ so the revelation of god's grace is seen in chapter one and two and it is true that the foundation of a believer's life is predicated upon the grace of god there are certain things that we can never have ourselves like righteousness it is impossible for anybody to have righteousness by himself the bible says the best of our righteousness is as filthy rags and do not confuse righteousness and uprightness they are not the same righteousness and uprightness are not the same righteousness is a gift from god uprightness is our response the advantage our our work of faith i'm just giving us are you getting blessed i just want to establish a few things before we continue it's very very important so the bible starts teaching us on the grace of god and all the possibilities that come with that grace all that christ had done for us in his death his burial his resurrection and his ascension into heaven in fact it was on the strength of that that paul began to teach in chapter in verse 17 he said for this cause I have a passion for you understanding this this is the foundation of your victory in Christ and for this cause I Paul bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you right the spirit of revelation you know and understanding that your eyes been enlightened or flooded with light that you may know certain things one is the hope of your calling and then you know the power that raised Christ that was exalted when Christ was raised from the dead you know and, and all of that and Paul begins to speak he knew that the church needs to know that but Paul did not just walk there he didn't stop there he began to talk about what is called theologically our walk of faith right character now you taking advantage of the grace of God I told you there's, there are two dimensions to the grace of God. There is the grace of God as unmerited access and there is the grace of God as power to live like Christ. They are all called grace. Don't just confuse them. Grace does not just mean what God has done and we receive by faith. There is a dimension of grace that represents everything Christ has done that we could not do. And he gave it to us. We receive it by faith. But there is a dimension of grace that empowers us to do we will do but it's not by our strength are we together and then he wraps up the book of ephesians with what is called the the you know uh, standing and then our, our walk and then you know sitting and standing then he talks of spiritual warfare our ability to contend against powers and principalities and listen every doctrine that must build a believer please hear me every doctrine that must build a believer must sustain all these components whenever there is a deviation from this pattern it will lead to error if you try to teach people how to do warfare how to do character and you forget the grace of god you will lead them into error and legalism are we together when you try to bring isolate the doctrine of holiness without giving men the foundation of faith you will lead to self-righteousness which does not hold any weight in the spirit and so it must be in that order the first thing believers must understand about god is not warfare is the grace of god and that's encapsulated in what we call the gospel of salvation a revelation of the substitutionary work of uh, uh, jesus christ which is a reflection of the love of the father so when we see that grace then 
our walking right now by faith is our own participation that's called the gospel of the kingdom our reward in gratitude and honor for that sacrifice for us and then our standing it says haven't done all to stand stand now let me tell you something the part of this truth you ignore is the path the devil will use to destroy your life you can't choose sitting as it were grace you can't choose kingdom just like that and isolate it you can't choose deliverance just like that there's a series on it and you can get it after the service it's called the full gospel where all these doctrines were examined one by one their imperfections their imbalances to the end that the bride of christ will become perfect he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city equal in length equal in breadth equal in height and part of the possibilities in the kingdom is the foundation of the apostles and the prophets christ himself being the chief cornerstone god stations these men so that they can communicate the speakings of the spirit and it is that same order of god's system that was mimicked by the antichrist system when you read the book of revelations from uh, uh, chapter 13 and the rest the bible tells us that satan empowered the beast the beast will now empower the false prophets the same order the same way god empowers his apostles and prophets to communicate certain things satan empowers the beast who empowers the false prophets and then they continue carrying out their agenda so there is a system spiritual growth is not haphazard you don't choose how you want it's not even just how your pastor said so there is an irrefutable pattern that has not changed it did not change just because um god jesus christ came and died for us no it's an eternal pattern it was carved out of who god is not what he's doing are we together There are people who believe in miracles, but they do not believe in the prophetic and the apostolic. That lapse is Satan's authorization in their life. There are people who do not believe in the gift of the spirit, but they are well-meaning people. That lapse is Satan's, you know, advantage in their life. There are people, for instance, who believe in grace, but they may not believe in holiness and righteousness and all of that, and Satan takes advantage of it. There are people who believe in deliverance but may not believe in the grace of God. And Satan takes advantage and they are forever fighting every and anything. The key is not exemption. The key is balance. Everybody say balance. Say it again, balance. The key is balance. Because all of these things are components of the same system. Hallelujah. And so I want you to believe the prophetic is real. It is still functional. It did not die with the New Testament. The prophetic is real. Now I know that here and there people may have exaggerated certain dimensions of it. But it's not enough reason for us to throw the baby and the bad water. Lives can be rescued when we understand what God is saying. And the Bible says, he that hears, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith." To the churches so if he's talking to one person he's talking to the ecclesia the church hallelujah pray in one minute and say lord i hear what you are saying i'm not rebellious i hear what you are saying you are speaking to the church i am part of the church and i hear what you are saying i hear what you are saying i'm not a rebel i hear what you are saying i hear what you are saying go ahead and pray
Hallelujah. The key, listen. I want to share with us some strategies right now that God revealed to me and then we'll take some time and really pray. I want us to seriously pray tonight and God will grant us that grace. Are we together? If you fight economic empowerment, get set to struggle spiritually. Promise made a statement when he came to receive the offering and he said, having abundance of supplies will increase your prayer life and minimize your prayer points. How true. You see, let me tell you something. This system that we live in, Cosmos, is a system that was designed intelligently. Are we together? God made the heavens and the earth, but the system, the social strata and its civilization was nicely modeled and built by Lucifer. The custodian of the antichrist system and he built it such that our civilization will only thrive on economic empowerment please listen are we together now and part of the imbalance that we're talking about is what has produced believers who are prayerful loving but we have not paid attention to our finances and in this season our flaw is becoming obvious are we together many anointed churches are seen right now that they cannot buy generator for their prayer meetings many churches that will have to depend on rent or something the man the landlord may be an unbeliever and he may get up under the influence of a strange spirit and say no more use of this venue it is locked and what happens the sheep is scattered it's a strategy by the pit of hell because the bible says the borrower is and will always be slave to the lender so our concept of empowerment must be seen not just as a desire to be rich and to be money mongers please get this if that is your thinking you are already in error the concept of empowerment is to rise to a level where we overcome the influence of mammon that spirit that is is compelling the nations to worship her there is a spirit it's called mammon if you have not seen that spirit just look around our governments and you will know that that spirit is being worshipped the obsession for the worship of images and the worship of lucifer did not start in our generation right remember when the king built 90 solid feet go and said at the sound of music everybody will bow down and worship and your survival in that territory depended on your willingness to bow some gentlemen said oh king no they found another system of exemption and they changed the tide businesses are bowing already churches are bowing already systems are coming to their knees I've heard men of God who didn't used to talk about certain things and I've been surprised hearing the way they are beginning to be so obsessed about financial principles that are not consistent with the ways of the Lord and the reason is because for every leader what faith is to the realm of the spirit that's what finance is to this realm you must pay the school fees of your child are we together and that reality is beginning to punish a lot of people to the detriment of their spiritual life but everybody said there is a way out shout he said there is a way out the way out of financial hardship in this season goes beyond investments goes beyond business let me tell you what the Holy Ghost told me you see if you do investments you need money to make money is that true you need money to make money if you do business you are selling products you are selling services and that's all right but the problem is that the products you are selling have a fixed price and cannot be manipulated ordinarily are we together meaning there is a limit to what can come into your hand there is a limit to patronage and all of that but the key i've said it again and again is when you become the product yourself 
not just that you offer services you become the service when you become valuable not just have things that are valuable but you yourself as a person you rise to a point where you become an epitome of value you have entered your financial sabbath i guarantee you the most expensive commodity for instance on earth is the anointing and when you have the anointing we used to jokingly say it sometimes with a jimmy how that we watch people who we know do not know one maybe one twentieth of the business principles we should know but because they possess the most expensive commodity on earth which is the anointing and its ability to provide supernatural solutions they exempt themselves from the tide and the greed of mammon so god's call for us in this season as believers to exempt us from the economic turmoil that is whipping the nations and that will inevitably come and lash a lot of people in nigeria is not only to surround ourselves with valuable things valuable things are important but be the value yourself and we have that advantage because the holy ghost is here to help us that's why i said your greatest business strategy in this season is to labor in the spirit and carry something authentic and supernatural you will enter the sabbath of your life do you believe what i'm saying please believe it i can sell palm oil is it not when you need palm oil that you buy it are we together i have palm oil in industrial scale but until there is a demand but you see let me tell you something the rev the world revolves around certain things that will never um, run out of demand one of it is the anointing one of it is the realities that come from the life of a man in partnership with the holy spirit such that even in your business you are offering much more than the product first and foremost you have risen to a point where you have become so valuable then any other valuable thing around you only becomes a support not the basis for your confidence do you understand what i'm saying as harsh as the economic climate is there are people moving as if it doesn't exist in nigeria please don't ever deceive yourself that everybody is crying let me tell you why we all look like we are crying because people have found out that if you don't cry with others the the anger and the pain they will fight you back so they just cry and say kai honestly god is, is faithful but the truth is not everybody is crying there are people who are far from crying they have found the key every one naira that seems to disappear did not go out of earth is somewhere it's in the hands of those who have paid the price to become valuable i made up my mind that as god grants grace i will pay the price to be so valuable because by god's grace my life and this ministry should not come to a point where we are stranded and the purposes of the kingdom becomes jeopardized simply because of a, a god called mammon Look at me do you know that there are many of our families we have tried to bring them maybe for the meetings and they may not want to listen but how many of you know that if we buy something tomorrow and we say everybody should come and line up vim omo sewing machine bikes you will see people who swore that they will never come here you see them standing even if they will not use it they will get it and go and sell it and quickly use the money that's the reality of economic hardship and from the vision the lord showed me listen people will do things that you will not imagine do you know in the bible women ate their children the bible said can a mother forget her child this one a mother remembered and still ate the child that's what finances can do you talk about prostitution is child's play when poverty hits people they will make calls that they did not made for years you see if you do not empower your people don't blame them for perversion and i found out that you do not judge spiritual seriousness just from the face you can see someone praying but knows that 
there are seven people whose daily bread are dependent upon them they will go and sleep with any allergy anywhere and bring the money they will even bring it and so project ten thousand are we together say in the name of jesus i exempt myself from this economic hardship say it in the name of jesus i exempt myself from this economic hardship the bible says when men say there is a casting down for you it says you will say there is a lifting up there is a lifting up there is a lifting up but if you don't believe this sooner or later you will have to face the bitter reality of this prophetic word because it will happen I want to be honest with you I'm not one person who just prophesies everything I see but I, I, I salute the government of this nation I know that they are doing their best with what they know and whatever covenant they are part of but I, I want to tell you one truth here I don't see transformation happening very soon let me tell you the truth all that I've, and, and I, I, I don't mean to insult anybody but a lot of people have given so many prophecies you are going to see boom not 2016 it will happen for those who have the strategies but as far as the world is speaking you have not seen tears wait till july finishes I've, i'm telling you what i've seen you will see people sit down and cry like children i'm not talking of illiterate you will sit down and gather your degree and shed tears on it but for those who are hearing this thing and will pay the price to become valuable i tell you you will rise as if the devil does not exist It has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with level of education. Hear me. It has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with having perceptions. And receiving God's strategy for now. Don't sit down and confuse yourself. Saying this and that. I'm an astute businessman. Just keep quiet and let the Lord speak to you. I'm not daft. I understand business. If you hear me speak to you like this. It is what the Lord is saying per season. Let me tell you. What will give you bread is what God is saying, not what you know. What God is saying. The direction of God is the direction of favor. The direction of God is the direction of life. God speaking to us you must challenge yourself to be valuable in this season the devil is a liar Kai the devil is a liar there is a spirit in Asia called Quatsi Quata that's what the Bible calls mammon it's a spirit many of you have seen it is the image of a flying serpent a flying dragon that is the exact picture of mammon it's a spirit that will compel the nations to bow to its leadership i assure you many people will bow the concept of 666 is not just something you receive on your hand and receive on your forehead it's already happening when a system compels you receiving the mark is not just having a physical inscription is coming under the sovereign rule of that system so that you have no options you have received the mark Are we together? But God is going to grant us grace. We will come out in another dimension. No, 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 no. Listen, let me tell you. I don't know about you. But Koinonia will not bow to this system. There is a superior covenant. We have the rod of a higher priesthood. No devil, no spirit, no system. Will make us change our message. To tone down the apostolic work God has given. So that we can attract certain kinds of wealthy individuals. That's what is happening to pastors right now. There are certain messages you cannot preach. If it is not rich man friendly. Get set to sweep your church by yourself. So you have to tone down certain things. There are certain mainstream TV programs right now. Where you are not permitted to teach certain topics. It used to be that you can't mention the name of Jesus. But now they've taken it to another level. Certain topics should not be taught on mainstream. If you teach about pressure, how to manage it, how love, how people can, can come together 
a gospel of universalism marry anything anyhow anywhere doesn't matter you are, you are welcome the mainstream invites you but the moment you have an outspoken voice the system will strangle you and economic empowerment lack of it is satan's weapon of mass destruction is worse than backsliding are we together pray in one minute and say i must be exempted in this season please pray 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 are you praying oh every time the devil tried to bring his arsenal and fight the church God is always one strategy ahead one strategy ahead one strategy ahead one strategy ahead Keep we raise your banner high we shine your light so bright we sing in honor of you lord we will raise your banner high we shine your light so bright I tell you, we will not bow. Hey, we raise your banner high. Shine your light so bright. We sing in all of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in all of you. The grace to be valuable. That when men say there is a casting down the bible says your gates shall be continually open it will not be short day or night right that you will receive the forces of the gentiles that's what the bible says you can be valuable and exempt yourself from the economic whiplash hear me i'm not talking of business I'm not talking of investments. I'm talking of being so valuable. Carrying something that cannot be found in the earth realm. Carrying something that is not of an earthly origin. Hallelujah. Please sit down. sit down I told you there will be lots of impartations we'll pray my passion is that something will come upon your life listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters when this glory of God comes on a man it will change you you will veto laws and walk as if Satan does not exist never trivialize the anointing it's a big deal I'm not talking of being anointed where you are competing with people and fighting. No. God raises you by his grace and puts you in a pedestal. No mammon. No 
devil. No policy affects you. It's a realm. It's a dimension. We frown at the supernatural because we think we're in an intellectual realm. Many times when pastors speak, a lot of business people just say, these guys are daft. They don't know what they're saying. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The voice of God. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. That is why I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd. A shepherd guides. He knows where the green grasses are. He says, he leads me. He leads me. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Isaiah 48 verse 17. Right? I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit. Some of you, this is what you will need. You will step into a place and men will look for you. Who said where you are staying is too far? You have not carried something. When you carry something, listen, let me tell you when you know you are anointed. When no price is too much to meet you, you are really anointed. When no price is too much to meet you. Have you watched people during foil scarcity? They have their money but they still kill and they are not angry. That's how valuable foil is. When you get to a point where people don't mind trekking from anywhere to say, I have learned that the wisdom of God is upon your mouth. And we have come as a nation. That's where Joshua Selman is going to. Listen, Koinonia is not an exclusive reserve of preachers. Power was never for preachers. Power is for them who will survive in this season because there are gates that you must stand against and it takes the anointing it takes unction not stories not preaching unction listen churches are closing because there's no results we argue and say it doesn't matter but they are closing the devil is closing them the devil is closing them people are coming in with devilish policies against the church you know why they have not seen our relevance by the time a city cannot do without the church no devil will close it no devil will close it listen so the key is not just making noise the key is rising to that point please hear me when you become valuable listen listen if I give you 500,000 to go and invest, you can make money. If I give you a product to sell, if this is 100 Naira, everybody you sell to, you will sell at 100 Naira. So you move at their pace. But when you become valuable, your reward is left to the perception of your benefactors. One person can see you and give you 100,000 because that's what he perceives. The next person can give you 10 million because that's what he perceives is the key to accelerating ourselves to enter that wealthy place let me tell you some levels of businesses are too slow to supply the funds required for kingdom advancement it takes being valuable the queen of sheba there was no word on solomon she carried her treasure to solomon there are shebas there are cyruses that must arise with their treasure and I'm praying prophetically that someone tonight, an unction, an unction, an unction from the throne, an unction from the throne will come upon someone that will change your life 
where your voice becomes like the voice of God. Listen, let me tell you this. There will be no longer begging in the church. All that depending on the world system. No! The key is not to sit down waiting for someone to employ you as good as that is. The key has been given to us the Holy Ghost handing you the keys that can open any door and you will watch mammon. Mammon will watch you and not be able to do anything. Listen, I saw this in the vision that the Lord showed me. Many people will be constrained. They, they are like, it will be as if they should die because the doors are closed. Let me quickly talk about the two points. We're rounding up. There is a key that will conquer exhaustion in this season. Please write it down. There are many weary people and it's natural to be weary. But let me tell you the key. Please hear me. I want you to write it. It's a very simple key. Spend time praying in the spirit. Spend time, I didn't say pray in the spirit at will, carelessly when you want. Spend time praying in the spirit. I want you to fan your prayer life in a dimension that will be too hot for any devil. Bishop Oyedeko said, no matter how mad a man is, no matter how mad a man is, he will not enter fire in the name of madness. Are we together? You want to survive the tides? Brothers and sisters, let me tell you, your prayer altar must be like the seven times hotter fire that they threw the Hebrew boys. The Bible says those who threw them themselves were burned to death. Are we together? You lie down on your bed, you turn a little shakata bakata batata. Where your prayer creates an effect. You enter your house as you are shouting in tongues. Something is happening. You are shaking gates. Prayer. Read your Bible. Has always been the key to true apostolic and prophetic revival. When you pray, let me tell you, no matter how dead your spiritual life is, when you invest in prayer, you will burn that devil to nonsense. He must give you more. I don't mean prayer that you are just asking and begging and crying. That's why I said pray in the spirit. Because for many of us, our prayer in understanding is petition and languishing and pain and anger. But you lock yourself. And you pray. I'm not just saying when you are in your prayer room, you are moving on the road. You are praying beneath your voice. Somebody drops a charm at you, it backfires on him. By night, he has become mad. Are we together? Someone is carrying a talisman and you are sitting down and you are going to Sabo. He will drop at main gates because the fire is too hot. He makes, listen, he makes his ministers wind spirits, right? His angel spirits and his ministers flames. I've said it again. I pity the herbalist that will make concoction and call my name. I've, it's, it's not only that it will not work. If it didn't work, he has still insulted me. He will fry to death physically. Physically. I'm not, I'm not motivating you. You think they've not tried it? How can you be leading a ministry like this and not tried it? Only God knows till we get to heaven before we know how many poisons we have eaten. Let me tell you something. When your prayer life is alive and healthy, anytime you are walking, just imagine in your head fire. Literal fire. Are we together? John Wesley said, Set yourself on fire, and the whole world will come to watch you burn. Set yourself on fire. Stop discussing things with people who cannot help you. Go and lock yourself. 
your body says I'm tired you say you are joking as you begin to pray you will first feel weak for a few minutes keep praying it's normal just keep praying when you touch that escape velocity you will touch a realm where strength you cannot explain will land upon you you plan to pray for one hour you will stretch five hours believe me I know what I'm saying nobody starts praying just out of comfort it's like you are starting shake it you are tired you are moving you are tired keep praying don't say ah this and that the devil will tell ah, there's something in the fridge have you don't just keep praying oh apostle but i'm praying and thinking about women keep praying that's what he's supposed to solve there is a level to which the fire will be too hot your flesh must burn and allow your spirit accent listen when the holy ghost is called fire it's not just what we do in church fire fire no he's real fire fire is a mystery those who will pray in this season will record unbelievable breakthroughs believe me travel you pray in the spirit thank god we have a very robust prayer department you come there and stretch it out with destiny after two hours your antenna is to the heavens any demon is flying above you they hang there they hang there because you are passing you are not even praying the fire will roast every devil around anywhere that's what we are talking about listen many of us are too cold that's why the devil will come and sit on your destiny and it will look like nothing is happening there are cold churches a spirit will arise from somewhere and just come and sit upon the man of God and his wife and his family but for koinonia no way shout no way When there is fire burning somebody will come with migraine as he's crossing that 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 junction to enter koinonia the migraine will just leave that's fire speaking that's fire speaking it works but if you walk it it's not a gift it's a labor in the spirit this is the labor dimension of spiritual growth men will pay you let me tell you your your, your job is to just become genuinely anointed by the power of God and you watch what God will do in your life it's what a Jimmy calls transformational wealth that dimension of wealth that is tied to people rewarding you because the last time they shook your hand every gate opened every every gate opened just by shaking you do you think they want to be your friend absolutely absolutely praying in the spirit becoming valuable praying in the spirit becoming valuable the third key in this season is the power of corporate fellowship. The power of corporate fellowship. If the devil can successfully isolate you in this season, just know that you are quarter to die. Are we together? There is a difference between isolation and solitude. Once the devil wants to destroy you, let me tell you what he will do. Look up, please. He will use offense. Huh? and push away everybody every intercessor in your life you will fight with him everybody who has grace and love for you you will fight with him he will push every relevant person push you to the wall alone and then that's where you sit down there and become a victim of his assaults a corporate life is a powerful key in the realm of the spirit the power of a corporate life that you come together and where I am almost giving up as you land with your fire based on unity of faith and the spirit of brotherhood before my fire jacks up your fire is roasting every devil that I came with are we together? corporate fellowship how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity it is like the oil that flows from the head of Aaron that priest down to his bed down to his cat he said for there the lord has commanded the blessing corporate life i'm a man of god of myself you will pay for it in this season you need corporate grace corporate grace corporate grace because no matter what you have seen you will need that 
sometimes that corporate grace will help you confirm if the path you are walking is of God the devil can isolate you and you just keep moving and you are flattering yourself until you land in fire are we together but koinonia we are going to pray I don't know about you but for as long as you are genuinely connected to this ministry you must be exempted from this nonsense that is ravaging nations it's like an angel of death is is entering families bam sickness incurable diseases have you heard recently how people are dying just from headache they say somebody has headache before they rush into the hospital he's dead how oh, come on a woman is pregnant just when labor starts she becomes deaf and dumb then she dies we are going to drive that devil out of zaria are you ready to pray no we are going to pray there is a church in zaria and we will pray we will pray and drive it far and say we surround this city with a mystery that makes any enchantment not to be able to drive we represent god's seat of of governance in this city and we must pray there's no room for carelessness we must pray. Lift your voice and pray in tongues for a while. Make sure you participate, everybody. Don't be tired. We are praying. Young and old, everyone pray. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Anointing for As a prayer from the depth of your heart. family members are depending on us not our preaching the activity of the power of God upon our lives there are people standing here let me tell you listen this thing that I saw there are families I know I saw it happening to in that vision and I like you to pray you are not desiring the anointing out of covetousness you need it there are there are thrones and dominions that must be subdued and apostle joshua selma may not be there the goal is not to have one superstar the goal is that you carry fire and go to your regions and begin to speak the purposes of god and while you are doing that god will compel men to lift you it has nothing to do with ministry please i like you to pray and say father let a strange unction fall upon my life Shake it, take 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 it
Oh, let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. In this season, they that will survive must be men of power, authentic unction, unction beyond imagination, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument, unction beyond argument. Ta 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 ta. Bataka parakata. Lord, send that fire upon my life. Send that fire upon my gifts. Send that fire upon my degree. Send that fire upon my PhD. Send that fire upon my business. Send that fire upon my company. Send that fire upon my church. Send that fire upon my family. Oh yes, send that fire upon my life. Send that unction upon my life. The earnest expectation of creation awaits my manifestation. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. One encounter with the anointing can give you an open door that your lifetime will not exhaust it if you believe what I'm telling you. One encounter, one, one encounter can open a financial door for you that will wipe your tears. One encounter can make you a friend to somebody who will pay your being a friend with him forever. One encounter. Listen, listen, hallelujah. I'd like you to pray a prayer. You've heard us pray it here. But I want you to pray it with all your heart. Everyone appointed to reward my grace. I compel them to appear. Go ahead and pray. It's not enough to have an anointing. There are men who can reward your grace. There are institutions. Send them, oh God, to Koinonia. Send them to your people. Men and women who need what you carry. Your entrepreneurial anointing. Your leadership anointing. Your spirit of motherhood. Send them to my life, oh God. Men and women who have what it takes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, look up. Look up. I know very anointed men and women. They love God passionately, but they have never met the people assigned to bless them. You don't preach for money. You don't carry the anointing just for money. But you see, God designed it in such a way that as you dispense the realities of the kingdom, there is a feedback system that should empower you so you continue being effective. Are we together? Listen. 
the day you stand in the presence you see many of us are around people who love our gifts but do not have the grace to reward it are we together you can labor and pray and fast and go and preach somewhere and someone will pat your back and say wow you are an awesome man of god i've never seen a man of god in this state like you that's not enough reward but there is a way you can have an encounter and someone will come and bring a generator buy you a car and say what does it take to stop you from thinking about the finances if you are such a voice i should sponsor you rising to any level there are men like that there are some of us the value you have now let me tell you sincerely the value you have now you is, is enough for you to be blessed forever but you have not encountered those who have what it takes listen there are pastors hear me who until you preach somewhere where your helpers are that's what will expand your church all of a sudden it will be like they are hearing you for the first time yes i know there are millions of men of god in nigeria but there are others assigned to honor you 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 can be singing singing songs laboring and traveling from pillar to post but if you can discern god can send you to somebody who has the means but needs your music when it was time for the lifting of david a spirit was upon saul and Saul needed a musician to drive it. All of a sudden, they went and fished out David. How many times did David play for Saul? When he played just once, Saul loved him. There are circles that I have entered. And I ministered once. And God connected me to people who will bless me forever. And that day, it wasn't even as if I was saying anything. It was just that God connected me to people who will be blessed tomorrow when asaba a mighty meeting happening in the stadium and we're going to minister they started preparing for this meeting tomorrow one year one year they came to book one year in advance they have been praying logistics publicity all over the city and we're going to go and storm the gates of hell there is some you are not assigned everywhere look you need to pray that those assigned to honor what you carry otherwise you'll be frustrated trying to be everything to anybody lift your voice one more time and say direct them oh god direct them direct them to me oh in this season direct my blessers direct those you have sent to be blessed by my ministry Direct those who have been sent to be blessed by my business. Shabakata Bosu on the Prozasike Ruta Sabarikata. Direct them. You are a prophet, but not to everyone. That God will bring the ears of those who have been anointed to hear your voice. You are an apostle not to everyone that God will direct the people the institutions hallelujah we're going to be praying that in this season please hear me that in this season god will grant you grace to have passion for the house of god that you will not allow the devil corner you somewhere and destroy you and destroy your family he said as for me and my house i don't know about you but as for me i have made up but the bible says they that be planted no flimsy excuses Oh, we are tired today. They that be planted in the house of God, they will flourish in the courts of our God. I'd like you to pray passionately and say, Lord, grace and passion for your house. Grace and passion. Grace and passion for your house. Supernatural grace. 
supernatural passion for your house for your house for your house hallelujah hallelujah we are rounding up one category of people who will be exempted from any nonsense in this season are passionate and addicted soul winners listen listen there was a time they needed money to pay for tax it was a period that they needed money desperately they had come to collect tax and jesus said go and catch fish and fish in the bible is symbolic of souls when they caught those souls in that mission work they found money as they were preaching god provided a way as they were preaching fishers of men they went to fish and they said open the mouth of that fish as that fish testifies the goodness of god and confesses with his mouth the lordship of christ you engage a law automatically that brings you wealth hear me please believe what i'm saying there are many peoples here who love god we are prayer warriors but we are not so winners you stand up alone and drag yourself to koinonia you wave your roommates you wave your family members you come here and get blessed while you are getting blessed the devil is using them to destroy your blessing you go back home a soul winner is an intercessor lord you must change my family members there are people who can come on friday and say look i'm going around this place have you heard about koinonia you've never really come you see this this our shame big boy big girl there are no big boys and big girls in the kingdom it takes passion when you are doggedly involved in soul winning you schedule seasons of exemption i can tell you this i can tell you this are we together you are in your office you are there and you leave every other person someone tells you uh -uh, um the devil is trying to manipulate my life or god jordan did something today that blessed me so so much some people came to his shop to buy books and the way they began to talk at once he knew it was a demonic situation god has given you spiritual intelligence there is a way you hear people talk what they are saying in the realm of the spirit is i need help you just listen to them and say bye-bye the moment they began to talk you know oga jordan said this and that they wanted to see me and he said oh it may not be easy to see me. but he bought communion and took a bike and came and said i should pray on the communion and returned it back and gave the people and i was looking at him i said why won't he explode let me tell you if god if your life becomes an epitome of support for god's interest forget about begging this is the god i serve you may not know all you need to know but that your life can find space to bring God. This is how this ministry started. Every night, somebody was dragging somebody. Come and get filled with the Holy Ghost. Come and get born again. You may not have the power to change them, but you have what it takes to invite them. Some of you, 50 naira is what you need to draw a soul. Ah, Koinonia has a crowd. It's not about competition of crowd. It's about destinies that must change. Are we together? What's wrong with calling your loved ones and say there is there is a platform now to hear this online? Since you think you are too sick to come, connect to the miracle service. You see, let me tell you something. This is what we do that produces some of the results. Anybody that is too big to win souls is too big to experience the favor of God if you are too big to win souls too big to win souls ah i preached and they insulted me so what didn't jesus say it blessed are you when men persecute and revile you rejoice for so they did the prophets and the rest you have social media platforms that you can use as platforms to draw people to the house of god where they can be blessed you see until you see yourself as part of what god is doing 
you are not entitled to his blessings when you see yourself as somebody who just comes for koinonia leave the workers and the ministers when you exempt yourself you also exempt yourself from that covenant of blessing he said if you are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham i'd like you to pray before i speak over our lives lord grace to be intentional about saving people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray grace to be a conduit for someone to be filled with the holy ghost grace to be a channel for someone to receive the teachings that will change their life hallelujah please lift your hands i want to pray for you and i want you to believe it praise the lord this prayer is it's not just i know that i pray impartations every time don't you think you are getting the same thing you see one thing with grace is when it comes yes i know that some of us it's not yet time for manifestation but you can begin to do something with it are we together one day instead of dragging somebody to go for prayer department prayer before the prayer department teach the person on the baptism in the holy ghost and try to lay hands on the person by yourself before you go everybody must have room to start something if someone is sick don't just say here is apostle's number here is head of department prayer here is a sister head of department here is a jimmy or pastor femi or pastor alpha or every any any other person no you can tell him look i agree with you i am part of a family that has a healing anointing and i want to agree with you if you pray with the person and nothing happens there's nothing to be embarrassed about everybody you see had an occasion to begin to exercise themselves anointings are useless if you are not ready to use them god does not waste he said gather the fragments that there be no waste are we together i want to pray for you there are three things i'm going to pray for you the anointing for uncommon wisdom that's the first thing i'll pray for you let me tell you i know many foolish people it's not by age I have seen this ancient wisdom upon my life as young as I look. I have seen it. I know it is real. I saw it in people. I coveted it with my heart. And the day it landed upon me, I knew. The anointing for wisdom. Strategies. Two. The anointing for favor. You need favor in this season. Favor is not when you do things by yourself favor is when god raises men to do things for you it's not about having money it's about the appearance of men in your life to wipe your tears it's called favor number three the supernatural power of the holy ghost to provide solutions to people there are sick people there are oppressed people waiting for joshua selman to heal everybody's idolatry that's not god's design God's design is that you become an extension of what we represent. That when we cannot be there, you can arise. They tell you a woman is failing to give birth. You lay hands on her stomach and ask her to give birth there and then. No CS. It has nothing to do with being a pastor or being a prophet. You don't need to carry any ministry. You just need to carry the spirit of grace. Lift your hands. Shabbat spirit of wisdom spirit of wisdom there is a level of wisdom that is beyond age it's not found in the realm of men it comes from heaven job was asked a question when come at this wisdom where is it where is it they ask the place of the dead and they say it's not with us we don't know where it is he said only god knows the place thereof hmm? Whose price is higher than rubies. He said, Doth not wisdom cry. Her price is far above rubies. Right? He said, By me, kings reign and 
princes, the creatures, with me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The grace for supernatural wisdom, uncommon wisdom, let it come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. From today, you begin to function at a frequency of wisdom that no man will begin to gain say or resist. Number two, the Bible says all who saw Esther loved her. Favor. There is such a thing as favor. There is such a thing as divine supernatural not man-made arranged favor favor from strangers when those who know you favor you it makes sense when a stranger is moved by the holy ghost to serve the purposes of god in your life your business and your ministry then you know that that's favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor receive that grace for favor listen some of you before the end of this night strange testimonies strange testimonies you are thinking of buying a bible someone brings it you are thinking of buying something someone brings it now that's favor you are looking for a place to pray someone says i have my room anytime you need to pray i give you that's favor you are trusting God to travel for a meeting somewhere. You are stranded in car. Someone says, I will sponsor you, pay for your flight and bring you back. Receive that order of testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Something very strange will start happening here now. Listen. Listen to me. Because I just saw a vision like a bunch of keys. It just dropped on the ground. Listen. This, this is a sign of access in the spirit. The Lord showed me a vision and I saw in the spirit a bunch of keys. Now it's not for everybody, but I'm about to pray. Once it comes on you, except God did not call me, you will see doors open. It's called breakthrough. Lift your head. I stand under this apostolic anointing. And in the name of Jesus, every destiny that needs this breakthrough at the count of three receive it receive it take it now 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 i distribute those keys in the spirit i distribute those keys inside and outside in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant breakthroughs 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 the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies the opening up of destinies listen those of you outside i want you to hear me because the holy spirit is going to do something now the lord asked me to come out hallelujah hallelujah now i want count three my goodness there is such anointing in this place and I see the angels, Lord. The moment you count three, I'm going to start moving across this crowd. And the power of God will start falling on people. Whatever has locked your destiny, it must open it right now. Are you ready now, those outside? Please believe we are not playing games. Father, in the name of Jesus, may the angels move in this crowd. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, shout at one, two, three receive it right now. right now right now right now right now i stretch my hands as i move across let an anointing come as i pass your role 
as I pass your row, you will stand it. As I pass your row, an anointing, an anointing. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Take it now. I stretch my hands. Take it. Take it. This side, receive it. Take it now. 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 I stretch my hands. Take it now. Take it now. Everyone in this row, receive it right now. Receive it right now. Take it now. All those here, there is an angel of the Lord standing on your row. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Just allow me to pass your row. As I'm coming, there are angels walking with me. As I'm coming, the power of God will touch you right now. I stretch my hands here. Everyone here, right now, take it now. Take it right now. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands to you. Call this man, come. This big man, come. What's your name? Come now, let's hurry up. What's your name? The Lord is saying, what's your name? Daniel. Daniel, from where? From Edo State, sir. From Edo State. I mean, are you in Zaria? Zaria. You are in Zaria. I want you to rejoice because you have entered a new level this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? As you celebrate them, you connect to their prophecy. Listen, because I'm seeing you in a cage. This is what I see. I've not started prophesying yet, but I'm seeing you in a cage. And I'm seeing you telling the Lord, I know that if I come here, my situation will change. In the name that is above all names, I lay my hands upon you and I end that captivity right now. Take it right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who is grace? There's someone grace around here. Who is grace? I'm hearing that the Lord is showing me someone grace. Who is grace? Please come quickly. Let's save time. Come. Where is your mother? Zango. Zango. Is she sick? My sister is sick. Don't worry. Is your mother sick? She doesn't even know she's sick. But she's sick. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going to your house and healing two people. Your mother and your sister. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your mother and your sister. What do you do? You're a student. What do you do? Huh? Applicant. Job applicant. Do you believe that if I pray for you, the Lord will give you a job? Will you come and testify before God's people? I lay my hands upon you and I release that job for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From this road down like this, there are a number of ladies with abdominal pain. Because I'm seeing like the angel of the Lord is something i stretch my hands right now whoever they are the power of god is coming upon them right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ that pain that abdominal pain must go it must go right now in the mighty name of jesus christ let me try to walk to the first overflow in the name of jesus christ look at me you will start experiencing the power of god in your life in a very strange way are you hearing what I'm saying? I lay my hands upon you right now. Step into a new season. I want to pray for this overflow. There are so many people. Please believe God. Don't think I've come outside because I want to identify with you. So you don't think you are at a disadvantage. No. Distance is no barrier. Some of you are enduring cold. It's touching my heart. Talk more of the heart of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And some of you need to watch because what you are seeing me do is what you will be doing in some years to come so just watch it you are just receiving miracles there is an impartation joseph who is joseph here yeah. joseph i'm hearing a name joseph you are wearing like a collar like for cold who is that you are joseph the lord is going to do mighty things through you stand up there's cold so you don't enjoy yourself are you hearing me i want to stay true with god and watch god do great things in your life in the name of jesus i'm seeing two old women they are sitting on the same seat where are they? Here, this row. Two mama like this. Where are they? Is there some... Who is that? 
the Lord is asking me to talk to them. Just leave them. Mama, do I know you? Have we seen before? I'm looking at you. Can, can they? If they cannot hear, we can speak any language. Can I talk to you, Mama? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. When I, don't be afraid. I'm seeing the spirit of death over your head. And the Lord is saying, if we don't pray for you, that's how you'll be getting up and a bike will collide with a car. It's like a station wagon and it will kill you for nothing. But the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. The second thing is there's no finances at all. Everything flat. Is that true? Is that true in your life? Is what the, why you came? Where is your daughter? Do you have a daughter? Huh? I'm seeing a lady close to you. Like a, a, I don't know if she's a, a daughter or a logical or not. Because I'm seeing the Lord is saying that he wants to bless her with marriage. You are the one? Okay, you are the one standing close to her. Are you ready to marry? Because God is going to surprise you. Do you believe that? Huh? Say I receive. I receive. I receive. You are not, you are, you are trying to be a lady, but my dear, prophecy, you a madman like this. I'm only responding to God. Just out and see what the anointing does. Shout, I receive as loud as I receive. Jesus Christ, I take that curse over your head. Mama, you will not die. All of you here, stretch your hands to her and say, Mama will not die. Take her as your mother. Pray for her. Mama will not die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm looking at this other mama. I don't know what's wrong with this woman. But there are three things I see the devil want to do. Number one, eyes. Huh? But two, I'm seeing her inside a coffin. They have already closed it. And there's blood on top of the coffin. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Somebody used her eyes to make money with it. This is what the Lord is showing me. I'm not a prophet of doom. Me too like what I'm saying but I cannot but say what God is asking me to say are you here I'm seeing a lady here I'm, I'm still going to come in please we're trying to work with the time um, but I'm seeing a lady here how you know is the power of God is about to come upon you right now one of the ladies here this is witchcraft that has destroyed the life of your family and the Lord wants me to minister to you in this other overflow father wherever she is right now locate her the power of God is going to come on one lady right now. It will be like fire. You can't stand it. It will come upon you. Please, when that happens, let me know that lady right now. Not just those inside. I know God is... Inside, but this role. This role. Father, wherever that lady is, I'm declaring right now by the anointing of the Spirit of God that she will be located so that her can be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um... Your name means joy. It's a tribal name, but it has joy. It's like it. Who is that person, please? Your name means joy. That's if you translate your name, it has something to do with joy. Joy or joyful or something like that. Do we have someone like that? Please make sure you are telling the truth so that it doesn't look like we're acting. If, if you are that couple with the protocol, who is that? What's that? Uh? Come. What's your name? What I means what? Child of joy. I want to pray for you. Where is your mother? She's in Kaduna. Is this working? Okay. Tell your mother her time. Lay hands on you. And I want that if you go back and see your mom, just ask her to allow you. hands upon you right now I don't mean their English names are joy what's, what's your name from where all of you your name is joy okay I'm going to name okay, let me talk to you come my dear where is your family Kaduna I'm going to pray for you because that has tied your family down. I look at me, look at me. Does it make sense to you? The Lord is dead because I'm seeing your family tied down in witchcraft. 
and God is saying that he's lifting them up by his grace father let it end right now out of this family right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I lay my hands on all of you I lay my hands on all of you I lay my hands upon you help her please help her so that she who is that in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hold on. There is a lady wearing white scarf. She's on at the wall. She's leaning on the wall. Where is that lady? Please bring her. I'm seeing in a vision. There's a lady wearing white scarf. White scarf. Is there someone like that? You are leaning on the fence. White scarf. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Give God a praise. Is that what's your name favor. Favor. but there's nothing favorable in your life and the lord is saying change her story do i know you that your name is favor i want to pray for you do you believe if i pray for you the lord will grant you favor hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i restore favor to you right now i restore favor to you by the power of the holy spirit come my dear this lady yes come hallelujah there is an anointing listen there is an anointing um i promise those of you outside by the grace of god hopefully by next miracle service we'll try to work on amplifying the sound so that it will it will be very clear for you outside all right i know that the people did their best but you can see that the crowds are increasing praise the lord but there was an anointing that was upon Esther. It's called the favor anointing. In the course of the meeting, I'm going to be praying for people. But the Lord is saying, I should minister this to you. Do you believe it? Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon this lady and I release this grace upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, I release this anointing upon her. In the name of Jesus, who came from Anno? I'm seeing Kano. Come. You are not alone. You are with one lady. Where are you? Huh? Two of you. Husband and wife. Come. Did you tell me you are coming? Come. She's your friend. Who is she? How are you, my dear? You came from Kano. What do you do? I'm see I, I'm, No, you are not just a student. There's something else you are doing. Teaching, you are teaching. How about her? Witchcraft is what God is breaking now in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm seeing something like a chain leaving your friend. I command that chain to leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I, I command that chain to go in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I declare you will step into a new dimension of intimacy with God. That's what you need. You have been praying, boom, fast, and help him. You fasted that God will give you an anointing. It's not an anointing for ministry. It's an anointing for fellowship with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of 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 Jesus Christ. Look at me. What has happened to your music ministry? That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. Huh? Do you sing? Sing something. Let's hear. My God is awesome. He will move the whole world. What has happened to your music ministry? God gave you an anointing. You have been playing games with it. Come. Because God wants to restore that fire. As soon as I pass you, I saw... I saw, I heard like music and God says restore his music ministry. There are three things that can destroy a man's ministry, any ministry. One, pride. Huh? Two, women or men or anything. Just human beings. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And then number three is premature exposure. When people don't stay with the spirit to create a track record. But I'm going to pray for you. Huh? 
you, your characters you, you must you must behave well behave like where you are going are you hearing what i'm saying this is you you need a lot of restoration in your life it's not because anything is wrong you, it's just that you need to step up otherwise you will not experience the grace of god but there is an anointing upon your music ministry and i lay my hands upon you right now you step into that level in the name of jesus christ all of you here please lift your hands i want to pray for you please lift your hands and believe as i pray for you and i count three i want you to shout the name jesus there are people here under yokes and spells as soon as you shout that name jesus the anointing of the spirit will move through this very overflow this very overflow i wanted to leave but god is still speaking to me about this overflow please i want you to believe help them so they don't fall inside the gutter father i'm doing as you have instructed me and i prophesy right now that as they all shout the name of jesus let the power of god visit the foundations of every family represented here are you ready now at the count of three one two three right now in the name of jesus right now help them right now in the name of jesus i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that spirit i cause that, that spirit from your life and your destiny there is a, a man that appears to one lady here as i pray for you now fire is coming upon you you will never see that man again not in your dreams i command him go 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 in the name of jesus christ i bring you deliverance by the power of the holy spirit it never comes to you again never 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 in the name of jesus greater strength greater prayer fire greater prayer fire greater prayer fire in the name of jesus the lady with the black heart tap that lady for me look at me stretch your hands where you are an anointing is coming upon you right now beauty for ashes says the spirit beauty for ashes i release that anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ before i leave this place there are seven people the spirit of prayer is coming upon you right now seven people lord where are they right now right now across this place seven people it's like fire to come upon you some are men some are women take it take it take it right now take it right now the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer the spirit of prayer 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 the spirit of prayer like never before tap this lady for me the lord is visiting you and he's wiping your tears in the name of jesus the lord is saying he's wiping your tears by the power of the holy spirit the lord is wiping your tears in the name of jesus christ the lord is wiping your tears let it end right now let it end now now never to return to you again never to return i stretch my hands all over this room right now right now right now right now every force of darkness never returns in the name of jesus there is a spirit i'm dealing with i know what i'm seeing right now right now i judge you by the god of heaven right now let them go let them go let them go now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing the hands of certain people tied here like a chain holding your hands those of you here just lift your hands don't worry once it constants you you cannot stand it father visit them right now you will feel like literally fire on your hands the chain is breaking right now i stretch my hands let it break 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 now 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 let it break i break it by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost now i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus i break that chain in the name of jesus I restore your glory I restore your glory in the name of Jesus Christ 
in the name of Jesus, please pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Pray and ask the Lord to visit you. Aha. Aha. You must go. In the name of Jesus, you must go. Go, go, go. Any spirit represented here, you must leave right now. I tell you, any force of darkness tying down your life. Who is this, Mama? Hold on, please. Hold on. Who is this, Mama? My brother. What's wrong with your marriage? This person I'm seeing was supposed to die October 21st. It's because of prayer. Because you used to carry this picture everywhere you go. I'm seeing you in a meeting. Stand up, madam. I'm seeing you in a meeting. No, no, no. Please. This is help her with a handkerchief. This is a mother. You don't have to cry, please. This woman you are seeing is a very good woman. I'm seeing you in all kinds of meetings. You are not even concerned about your own problem. You are lifting up this person because I'm seeing 21st October. He was to be to die and please, Mama, it's okay. It's okay. The Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you too, you have problems. But you are not even concerned about your problem. You are not concerned about what is happening to your finances. You are not concerned about the pain in your back. You keep feeling pain in your back when you wait. As I enter here. I hear my pain go just go away. The pain just went away when she came here. Look at this. Even before the meeting. From Kaduna, me and my Hold on. Okay. I'm all away from Kaduna. We my children sleep with your with your scriptures. We work with your scriptures. Even if I will go and pass you read, the scriptures is on. The two of them are pastors. One is here, the other one is here. I finish university here and this prayer I may wish to oh yeah hold on I have a ministry <laughs> you have a ministry my goodness can you imagine I'm looking at you what is I'm seeing your ministry has something to do with spring the spring, the spring. <laughs> in the name that is above all names mama listen please don't cry the Lord is visiting you because this woman you see is an intercessor this woman can stay for hours praying for people who are not even her, it's none of her business as the holy spirit ministers to her you see but nothing is changing in your own life you pray for people and god will do miracles it's true. is that true the lord says i should tell you your whole life would you Amen. hallelujah please come follow me mama the lord is wiping are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is wiping your tears. Who is this? Huh? Ah, mommy, this is not your son. Hold on. This boy is not your... You are calling him son, but he's not your son. Because I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing a father. Where's your father? He's dead, sir. Father is dead. And this is what the Lord... I'm looking at him and I'm not seeing father. It's like... The father is related to you. He's my elder. Brother. And so you took him as your son. That's why you are calling him son. But this boy is not your son. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord is going to use you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to use you mightily. Huh? Mommy, you, God is wiping your tears because this finance, the thing can't just enter your hand. It will enter and go out. And we have to pray. Because the people that killed his father want to destroy you. And we have to pray. I'm not, I don't want you to feel bad. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's gone and, but we're not just going to allow it happen until they come and kill mama. And it's because of the destiny of this person. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Lord is going to visit you in a way that will surprise you. What's wrong with him? You see, Ba. What the Lord is showing me, I'm not going to say everything here, but what the Lord is showing me, today, they will see that he has one sickness. They will do another test. Huh? They will do a scan and come out with something else. 
the devil is just playing using medicine to play with your mind this is witchcraft they have already buried this person and this issue has finished but in the name of the lord jesus christ i'm declaring and i'm speaking to everyone here i stand under the anointing and i pray for you that every power that is tying down your family it must leave you this night in the name of jesus it must leave you this night it must go 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 the same thing it must go in the mighty name of jesus christ please come madam the lord is saying i shall anoint you come you are going to do great things for god god is going to use you greatly i know you may not think you are like that but god will use you from today i open your eyes to the realm of the spirit you will step into unusual dimensions of grace i activate dimensions in your spirit elisha prayed and the eyes of the servant was open i open your eyes to visionary encounters in the name of jesus christ stretch your hands towards our mother here this woman's situation has really touched me come mama no 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 mommy please stand up stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother all the way from kaduna a woman with a ministry interceding for others this is our brother the devil wants to terminate the life of this person i like us to pray over this picture and say in the name of jesus the same power that raised christ from the dead the same power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah mommy will you believe if i tell you you are stepping into an unusual healing ministry from tonight listen you believe with all your heart have you forgotten the dream god showed you where you saw yourself in a meeting praying for people i believe i saw it so i remember did you tell me is now is the time for that dream to come to pass because you had a dream you saw yourself praying for people i'm just praying healing them and you are healing them and you have been interceding innocently the lord is telling me that now is the time for your ministry to step into another level two areas the issue of barrenness the issue of barrenness it will be like a special anointing to destroy barrenness are you hearing what i'm saying you will come back and testify before the people of god this thing is being recorded and the second area the second area is hiv such an anointing will come upon you as you pray for people with hiv listen paul said i desire to see you he said that i may impart some spiritual gift it doesn't matter the age impartation can happen are you hearing what i'm saying madam hold my hands i want you to shout jesus and watch what begins to happen to you go ahead father i pray from today an anointing an anointing a transference of grace an ordinary woman will become a woman of power from today an ordinary woman will carry an anointing of the spirit in a strange way in a strange way go and heal the sick 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 in the name of jesus christ come madam look at me come watch this mommy lay your hand on him and pray for him just do what i'm asking you to do lay your hands and speak to him look at me you carry this anointing and you will wreak havoc in the kingdom of darkness anointing is not for show brothers and sisters but i tell you it will scare you this anointing will bring wealth to you people will sow into your life because of the impact in her life come on go when you go back lay this picture on your brother and pray for him god will take him out of that hospital and when he does bring him here and he will come and testify to the glory of god the lord told me he's wiping your tears come sir what do you do 
What do you do? What did you study? I'm going to pray for you. You want to further? Yes, sir. That's what yes, sir. Political science. Because God is going to use you in the area of leadership. It was in, in prayer God put in your spirit to study political science. Amen. Although what you studied, um, I'm not seeing a university like a college or something. Federal College of Education. You study something that has to do with education. Business education. Business education. But then it's leadership. And God is taking you to that position. When you study it, he will make you a great leader. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Amen. Wait, Mr. Man. Just wait. Let me finish. I'm praying for you. Make sure when God blesses you, you never forget this woman. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You never forget this woman. She has done what for you many people will not do. She has taken you as a son. She has spent her money to the last to help you. Is that true? If you forget this woman, God will not be happy with you. Let me use this as an encouragement. You see, when somebody suffers to help you and you rise, you will be a wicked person to forget that person. Some of us are like this. Some of our parents have labored to help us. Don't say, I must be a millionaire before I bless them. The day God gives you 20,000, you can take 1,000 and say, Mama, take. Some of us are very greedy. God is blessing you, but you are still latching onto the little resources of the parents. It must change. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, take him to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I impart upon you wisdom and leadership. Occupy that mountain. Fire is coming upon your hands. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Father, visit our mother. For what you have done, Mama, my God will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you from the depth of my heart. My God will visit you. In the name of Jesus. Please bring this woman for me. This one wearing this very one yes this she's she's not feeling fine something is wrong with her please let her come is god blessing you tonight who brought her please who brought her if you brought her please come with her so that we we'll know what it is What's wrong with her, Mama? Diabetes. Diabetes. How old is she? Do you know? Oh, you just met her. Or you know her. Okay, it's your junior sister. From where? Can she hear me? Or do you need somebody to talk to her in the language? You need translation. If I talk to you, can you talk to her in the language? Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to heal her of diabetes. What tribe are you, madam? Eh? He got her up as to Alpha now. Carry mic. What are you here? Oh, yeah, yeah, carry mic. Because I'm trying to, let's make this easy. Give him mic, please. Every tribe here, there must be somebody. If there's nobody who will lay hands on somebody for the purpose, there's no other mic. Okay, don't worry. Come, Pastor. Tell her that Jesus Christ is going to visit her. Jesus, ask your guy Ask her question. don't know. Tell her she heal her of diabetes. And the dream of death that she has been having. Or now who can nale? And God is going to heal her. Diabetes. What couldn't she do? Mama, ask, tell her I'm going to pray for her and the power of God will come. Um, me and her will run here now. Tell her to 
I'm going to pray for her and we will not work, we will run together. Tell her not to worry. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, you pray. If we do Jesus, if we do Jesus, I rebuke who down diabetes. Diabetes. From her body. In the name of Jesus. If we do Jesus. Look at what is happening to her. It's a spirit. Look at. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit. You call it sickness. Look at what is happening. This is an old woman. Ah, huh? diabetes is a spirit. I command it to live now. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Mama. Tell her. Tell her. Then you can that. She's going to do what she has never done. And she should not be afraid. Never do that. Walk, come. Fast. Fast. Come. 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 Look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, come on. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Hold on. Sam, give us one powerful Igala song. Where is Sam? You sang one song during Annie's wedding. Eh? Sing that song. Tell Mama she's going to dance now. Eh? And the Igala people will join her and dance to the shame of the devil. Hosanna, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna, 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 Hosanna, oh my David, oh Chonuka Wama, Hosanna. This miracle remains permanent forever. How many? How many of you saw the way that woman was standing here? You saw the way she was standing. Look how God can change a man's story. Hallelujah! Give Jesus praise. God bless you. There is a woman here that they brought. I don't know where she is. But I'm seeing it's, it's something that is a medical condition. I don't know if it's a fibroid or a growth. Please, who is that person? We really have to be fast. A growth, like a, I don't know if it's a growth that the person came with. They, they said the person has something like a growth. I don't know if it's a fibroid now. Whether it's... Eh? No, no, no. The person I'm talking about is here. Oh. It may be inside or outside. I'm seeing somebody. Um, it's like there's a medical condition that has to do with a swelling or growth or something. Who is that? Who is that person? Come. No, you're all, you are not sick. It's, it's demons. Just stand. We'll deal with that one now. Now. Your, eh? No, no, no. Leave him. This, your stomach is swollen. They want to kill you. Somebody, somebody hit you with something in a dream some months back. You didn't even remember. Now your stomach is swelling. We'll deal with that one. I don't know you. I'm just just stand there. That one is, is an easy something. This come, the come. You have a problem. Come up. The devil, I, the devil wants to destroy this lady. Because if I don't pray for you, they will. I'm seeing your case getting so serious. They will now take you to India for a kidney transplant. What's wrong with you? Kidney nephritis. What does that mean? Yeah, we inflammation. How do you know it's 
the doctor told me I cannot lie on both sides of my head. You can't lie down here? Yes, and even yet, I sleep straight. You see the wickedness of the devil? That even to sleep, you can't sleep this way. You can't sleep. How, and how else do you sleep? Lie down flat. That devil must leave you. What's your name? Precious. You know how? Who knows her? Before you now start talking another rubbish story. Daddy, please come, sir. Our, our daddy, yes, sir. Our daddy is praying a prayer. And the prayer has to do with, no. The Hold your photo like this, sir. Open it to the third one. That's what I want to talk to you about. One, okay. I'm seeing, okay, I thought it was the third one. Back, I'm seeing another photo. This thing is like, it's supposed to be three. It's not two. Where is the third one? It's at home. That's the one I want to talk about. That's why I said, take it to the third one. You brought two here. But the person I want to talk about, there is a third one. Who is in that photo? Henry, Henry. Henry. Because we want to pray. Demons stop him from coming. Did you ask him to come? I asked him to come. He chose not to. That's what I'm saying. If that boy had come, let me tell you. Do you know that if 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 you can come for Koinonia alone, you don't want to know the powers you overcame to arrive. Tell somebody Koinonia and see the way demons fight. They are coming here. Flimsy excuses. They will tell you, uh, I just think I don't have this. It's because the devil knows. He knows. That's what happened to this person. And you see, today would have been his day of visitation. I looked at this and I saw three, because I'm not, you may see me looking at you physically, but I'm operating from the spirit. I saw three pictures and I said, go to the third one. You left the third one at home, just like the person to come. If he agreed, the Holy Ghost would have reminded you and forced you to carry the third one. You see, please, brothers and sisters, when you invite people and they refuse, don't insult them. You are a spiritual man. You should know that is to you a sign that God wants them to be here. Are we together now? Daddy, I'm going to talk to you now and I'll pray with you. There's something about him, but I will not tell you in public. Huh? So that you will not hear that this person left the faith into something else. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want, it's not something where this is a public talk, but it, we don't want to hear that kind of story because it's already happening. There is a spirit that converts men. It doesn't happen by default. We must attack it in the name of Jesus Christ. Where is this our lady? Come. We are going to pray for this kidney. Both of your kidneys is verified that you have a, a kidney problem. So we are going to pray. Lay your hands on it. Please, can we pray for this dear one? Anything that happens to one of us happens to all of us. Don't say it's not yet my issue. Uh -uh. Pray for her. Your prayer is working. There's a surgery the Lord is doing in her. Place your hand on her. I command that devil right now out out of her that spirit masquerading as kidney kidney problem in the name of Jesus Christ I command a miracle for you right now I stretch my hands I make contact by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My goodness, there's such power flowing. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. I declare a miracle. Stand up. Stand up. What couldn't you do before? Press it. Press it right now. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Check it. No, it. no pain. No pain. Look, the lady, see, see. The lady is even surprised. Even her, her and her own body. She's even surprised that something is happening. Her and her own body. I pray that God will anoint you to be able to bring healing and deliverance to people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know how cheap the devil is until you are really anointed. If you are not anointed, you will make a ceremony out of nothing. But when that anointing, it's not about trying to get it done. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. My dear, check it. Honestly, if there's pain, tell us. We will not be afraid. There's... God is touching another lady. Heal her, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Fire is coming on a lady's throat. I don't know what has to do. I'm about to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing throat right now. There is a lady like that. Fire is coming. Something will touch your throat. It's like a sickness. My dear, I like you to shout, I am healed. Shout it. I am healed. Shout it again. I am healed. Shout it one more time. Go and check yourself and you come back to testify. In the name of Jesus, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. The anointing is on that lady covering her, her mouth, her nose. This lady, I don't know who she is. I'm not, yes, that very lady you are holding. There's a strong anointing on her. Strong anointing on her. In the name of Jesus Christ, strong anointing on her. We're going to be very fast because it's cold and we have to there's one of the ushers the power of god is coming on you now i know you are doing ushering work wherever you are i'm seeing an usher please bring that person right now an usher lady right now you are busy doing your work quietly but the anointing of god will land on you right now where's the usher please bring her you're an usher you are doing your work that's all right but God needs to visit you now. That you are walking, whether ushering or protocol, you mind your business. There's somebody in welfare, welfare. The power of God is coming on somebody in welfare right now. Welfare department, welfare department. I'm seeing an anointing coming on somebody in welfare department. God just does strange things. They are called signs and wonders. We really don't know why it's done. Before we continue, there's one person from protocol. That's what I see in the spirit. Protocol department. The protocol department. There's somebody that the Lord is touching right now. In protocol department, wherever you are, I really don't care where, whether inside or outside. But God is touching somebody right now. Right now in protocol department. It's like fire. It will just come on you all of a sudden. It's a sign and a wonder. It's a miracle. Please let me have those people out. There's a reason why I'm calling them out. That person from Boshri. Who is that? Protocol department. Where's the person from? Welfare. Welfare. Hallelujah. Bring three of them. It's a prophetic language. I want to tell you what God is saying through this. The first impartation is God prophesying to men that you are entering into new seasons. So just like an usher brings you, it's a prophetic word. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I release it upon you. I release it upon you right now. Just like an usher takes you into a new level. I stand under this anointing and I prophesy, enter a new season. Enter a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. The impartation upon the welfare person is the mystery of supplies. The Lord is saying he's ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is ending stagnancy in the name of Jesus Christ. The person from the protocol, the Lord is saying, I will be your defender. Even in this season, I release that word upon your life. 
in the name of Jesus Christ please everyone that came with a sick person um, it's already happening to Pastor Femi but Pastor Femi and three members of Rema will come under the anointing right now three members who are members of Rema Chapel that's what I'm seeing as it's happening to him it's happening to three people three people who attend Rema Chapel three people in the name of the Lord Jesus it's a new season for you new season for you new season for you by the power of the Holy Spirit you don't have to bring them out just leave them where they are hallelujah we have five minutes to do this five minutes because there is the session where I prophesy please make sure we are going to try to finish fast but make sure you receive everything don't come and waste your time and stay now all those who came with sick people apart from those who have been healed if you brought somebody sick please bring them out quickly quickly let's lay hands on them give us some worship. please quickly the Lord is healing people there's the healing anointing in this place right now God is a miracle worker God is a miracle worker please quickly no matter which of the overflows brothers and sisters there is multiplied grace in this house don't come and go back sick you just need a touch it's, it's just a touch there's no need for any long story so you don't necessarily have to be saying this what is wrong with me if I don't ask you just a touch even if you are coming here for the first time hallelujah praise the Lord those of us who are out here Jesus loves you that's why he wants to heal you please I want you to receive you can reject it but I want you to receive it with all your heart as I pray for you you go back check yourself because of time we may not have time to share testimony but hold on please let me say something about testimonies um it is you are robbing god of glory when god gives you healing and blessings there are so many people who god has been touching but they never return to give thanks one of the ways you maintain your miracle is by giving thanks please come your breakthrough has come yes please madam come the lord is bringing a visitation to you right now don't put her up just keep her somewhere because the anointing is still on her and so that she doesn't keep collapsing up and down look how many people are trusting god for healing ma please look at me god is restoring you financially spiritually financially there is an anointing on you as i speak to you financially spiritually i'm seeing god step even into your marriage our mother is crying your marriage this is the reason why you came because there's nothing there god is stepping in to do a miracle for you to the glory of his name miracle for you who is this your mom what's wrong with her Why didn't you bring her here? Yola. Yola. Hold the picture. Just hold it. I will use you as a point of contact. Hold it with both of your hands. The power of God will come through the picture to you and will touch her right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your healing power touch Mama. She's in Yola, but touch her, oh God. Right now, in the name of Jesus, God is also bringing speed into your life. Speed, right now. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit speed I prophesy it upon you never to be the same again and we pray for healing for mama he will testify in the name of Jesus the anointing is so strong on you God is bringing restoration in your marriage God is bringing restoration in your finances God is bringing restoration in your spiritual life I command everything the devil has stolen to give way 
in the name of Jesus. There are so many people here and we are going to be very fast. Just a touch. Please, I want you to believe. If you are standing in for somebody, you can agree with them. As you go back, you can touch them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to believe we'll be very fast in the name of Jesus. All over the congregation, I want you to begin to pray in tongues because immediately after this, we'll be prophesying. While you are praying in tongues, pass your prayer request. Both the one for souls and then your prayer request. Please pass it. So ushers, you can split yourself inside and outside. Someone attend to those in the overflows. Please, very quick. Thank you, Jesus. Let your power touch your people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. A glorious God. A miracle world. Right Hold on, let me attend to this gentleman. I promise that we'll look at him. Everybody look if you can look at it from your screens or wherever. You see that when you look at this guy, this is unusual. This is abnormal, right? How long has it been, my brother? Since last year. What happened to you? Uh, the, uh... I am, I'm just sick. I don't know what is happening to me. So I went to the hospital. They said I should go and do scanning. They said my spleen don't, don't big. My spleen don't big. So later on, what is that? Come now, doctor. You're already there. The spleen is an organ that reserves blood just below the ribs on the left side. So after that it's a cancer. It's disturbing me. Cancer. Cancer of what? So for now, I'm still there for this hospital for this uh, shika. So they never told me for cancer for what was still. Who told you about this place? It's my friend. May God bless that friend forever. In the name of Jesus. My brother, look at me. Do you believe Jesus can touch you? I, I believe Jesus. Love Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm born again. I'm born again, sir. You're serious with him? Yes, sir. Very, very serious. Very serious. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Do you think he will just watch you just die like that? Do you believe it's his will for your stomach to be swelling? If you have a child and you have the power to help that child and you see the child's stomach swelling like that, will you smile and tell him continue and die? Is that love? So I want you to know that this thing, God has no hand in it. This is the devil. The Bible says, for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the devil. Lay your hands on your stomach. Don't let the name cancer scare you. You understand? It is because of what you have heard, the conditioning in your spirit that has made you feel that is cancer. Uh, and made you feel it is destructive. There is the life of God. It's called the way. The very life of God. And I want to pray to you. You believe that? You want to kill that cancer and it must leave your body so that you will not die. I believe that like every other person, you have your plans and aspiration. And this is already threatening you to cut short your life. Huh? Are you married? Where's your wife? Because I'm seeing your wife crying. Your wife is already thinking now and saying that this is how my husband will die. And I'll have to start looking for another man to marry me. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Father, do a miracle for this brother. We know that cancer is a spirit. In the name of Jesus, cancer, die. In the name of Jesus. The condition for your disappearance in this body will bring them to place. And I'm prophesying in the name of Jesus that this cancer will die and it will leave your body forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will return and you will testify. Make sure you testify when God gives you a breakthrough. What's your name? Hosea. So make sure you testify in the name of Jesus Christ.
I worship forever. I worship forever. I worship forever, Lord. I worship forever. I worship forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're getting into the most important. Please, those outside, can we rise? This is a very prophetic moment. Hallelujah. This is a very, very serious moment. The requests here contain the names of loved ones. I want you to know that everyone is an evangelist this year. There is, there is need for massive salvation. The Lord spoke to me and said he's trusting that he will find the people who will bring souls this year like never before. And I told him, I said, Lord, I'm available. So make sure that from now till December, you don't come alone. We, we are on a mission. Not just to ease ourselves of the guilt of not being soul winners. It's serious business. Hallelujah. Please, those who are yet to submit the names of their loved ones that you are trusting God for them to be saved and then our requests. Very quickly, we have a few minutes. Now, we're going to do it in this order. The moment, let me make an altar call before we pray for this so we can conserve our time. There are people here. Hear me. First overflow, second overflow across the road. Listen. There are people here, probably you were invited and you know that you need to make your ways right with Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, he so loved you. And he demonstrated that love by giving his all, his one and only begotten son. Please, by the way, I don't want you to miss the series we are starting next week. We are taking a series on the gospel. We are going to be examining who Jesus is and the message that he brought. What is the content in the gospel that really saves men so this is profound we preachers have been distracted teaching people on restoration and demons we need to get back and let people understand who jesus is what message did he bring and why is it very powerful where are we really going with all this christianity thing so it's a powerful series you don't want to miss it will be having that all through february praise the lord it will rattle the foundation of your understanding about God and will be walking in exchange. Hallelujah. For instance, let me give you a little preview. Um, the message of Jesus, when he came, his message was just one word, repent. That's all Jesus said, repent. So we're going to be checking what does it mean to repent? Does it mean to come and emotionally answer a, a, a poem? to repeat after the man of God what, what is the what is the jurisdiction of that word repent hallelujah so this is very very important I'm going to make an altar call now and while the people march forward please clear the way for them we'll stretch our hands and be interceding first for souls leave the issue of your needs we're going to intercede you wrote their names you know call them by their names and say Lord we receive their salvation if you save me you can save them you don't want to watch your family members in hell and they are calling on you and saying you know me we came out from the same womb but some of them we know that they are going to hell there's no confusion about it god is a god of love we'll be learning next week but then the truth is there is hell don't let anybody deceive you there is a place called hell there are people there right now praise the lord you are here you need to make your ways right with god you've been hearing preachers talk again and again outside inside you probably are making this decision for the first time seriously in your life or you've been answering many other calls you don't even know how many and you don't know the name of what you have been doing and tonight you are saying i really want to come out and make a decision or you have even given your life to christ you are a pastor you are you know functioning the body of christ but you know that you need a a rededication of your life Things happen around your life, discouragements, God didn't answer your prayer and he made you to derail out of the way of the Lord. Those two categories of people, I'm going to count one to five, please for time's sake.
for time's sake wherever you are leave your seat and run like there's fire on the mountain especially for those outside one quickly god bless you god bless you don't don't fight it win that war tonight there are so many people coming from outside no matter how far don't say it's too far make your way to jesus god bless you one two keep coming please don't stop don't let your friend don't let anyone stop you this is a destiny decision you have seen the power of god you have seen the grace of god you know that he loves you that he allowed you come for koinonia tonight it's a sign that he loves you and he has great plans for you make your way to the front very quickly while they come keep coming please stretch your hands towards this request and begin to pray in tongues please everybody pray in tongues first for the salvation forget about your prayer request please keep coming you know you need to be out here no matter how long it will take please make your way to the front no matter what you have done jesus loves you and he can give you a new beginning so make your way to the front stretch your hands and let's pray on this request all of you that are inside just stretch your hands as a point of contact those outside stretch your hands towards the screen and let's pray Shegata pratagada baladabash Mam broto koto poshoto pratagada baladabosh Ragada barato kosoto pratagada baladabosh Shekapa bakata baladabash Shekapa rokoto posh Mante kroto skobara balash Lord we pray for every soul 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 in this place lord save them some of them are not even christians save them to the uttermost young and old we receive their salvation give them dreams give them encounters you died for them they must not go to hell you have great plans for them they need to experience the love of jesus we intercede for their souls we intercede for their souls. We intercede for their souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, save our fathers. Save our mothers. Save our brothers. Our classmates. Our colleagues in the office. In the name of Jesus. Our families. No matter how far they are from the cross. Bring them to meetings. Give them encounters. Holy Spirit. We permit your ministry in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to pray over your request. Lay your hands over your request. By faith. And say, Lord, I turn it into a testimony. Go ahead and pray. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. I turn it into a testimony. Shake up a barraco to proscopas. Rekete kerebosh. Rakata baranabosh. Lekata kata barato shoto pregele gede benele bosh. Mabra pakata rakoto shoto pregele. Father, give your people testimonies, breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, we bring this before your altar. Give your people manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies, manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. Manifold testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Manifold testimonies. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. We pray for every soul represented here. We release angels of salvation. Wherever they are. In the name that is above all names we authorize these angels to hunt for their souls they will know no peace till they find the cross in the name of jesus christ we release dreams 
we release visions of Jesus we release encounters with the world in the name of Jesus everywhere they turn to they will hear the gospel they will hear it in church they will hear it in class they will hear it everywhere for those who have vowed that they will not give their life to Christ Lord in the name of Jesus we we place their stubbornness side by side with the blood of Jesus and we declare that their souls must be saved and not only saved they will be saved added to the church and established in righteousness in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for these requests Lord right here are humanly speaking impossible situations but Lord as I walk upon them they become testimonies as I walk upon them they become testimonies and Lord your people will stand to testify in the presence of everyone healings and miracles and breakthroughs and salvations and restorations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now those of you who are making this decision for Jesus Christ I love you from the depth of my heart and I thank you for coming out to accept Jesus Christ it's a very noble decision hallelujah there's no need to feel as if you are going to hellfire it's an exciting thing because it looks natural but it is supernatural in every way lift your right hand and say this after me I'm just guiding you but it's, it's, it's the truth from your heart that really sets you free say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart some of you as you are praying you will literally feel things leaving you as you are praying Jesus said I am the way the truth and I am the life say after me again Lord Jesus I believe in you and I love you with all my heart I accept that I cannot help myself and I ask you tonight save me cleanse me in the name of Jesus everything in me that is not from you I command to leave me right now I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit I'm a child of God my goodness I sense such heavy anointing of the Holy Spirit even just right here in the altar right here I'm sensing that there is such a strong anointing ministering to people ministering to people something is entering you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those who are getting born again as you are getting born again some of you are getting filled with the Holy Ghost instantly instantly because I see the power of God coming on some of you in the name of Jesus say after me from today I'm a child of God the life of God is in me I will never be the same in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit may you become mighty men and women of the Spirit in the name of Jesus may God do great and mighty things in and through your life I really pray for you from the depth of my heart may you never go back to the systems of this world again may the Holy Spirit guide you may he instruct you and teach you in the name of Jesus Christ may you be established in righteousness in Jesus name I pray may God bless you I'd like you to follow the lady waving her hands she will have your details and I promise that we'll send you a text and we'll follow you up may God bless you in Jesus name follow the lady very quickly hallelujah God bless you please everyone stand everyone stand I want to speak over your life now and please I want you to pay attention those outside this is when everybody gets to receive something mighty upon their lives I believe in the power of prophecy I believe in its ability to change the course of your life please let's prepare the announcement quickly so that we can take it after we have seen in this house what God has done with prophecy. When Pastor Alpha came up here, he was admonishing us and he told us, he said, you don't just believe in the Lord, but you believe in the prophets that he has put. This is not human worship. It's an election of grace. God sends men and anoints them with apostolic and, and prophetic mantles and graces 
because he wants to use the words through them to step into your life and destiny there will be radical change as I, pre I prophesy over your life lift your hands inside and outside lift your hands the power of God is strong I already feel like fire on my hands I speak over your life a dimension of speed you have never seen a dimension of speed you have never seen receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive it right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside let a mantle come on you for supernatural speed in the name of Jesus I pray for you every spiritual blindness everything covering your eyes from accessing insight in the Word of God you need insight your life is at the mercy of the spiritual insight you have I'm praying for you like a veil torn from a man's eyes I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I command that veil to be torn right now I speak against the spirit of limitation that force from hell it allows you to move forward but it will say you will not cross this border in the name that is above all names I come under this anointing this night and I command whatever limit you have seen in your life I break it tonight I break that limit tonight in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus every strange dream every spiritual encounter of the night that is not orchestrated from heaven every visitation of demons they appear as animals they appear as men as women they appear as all kinds of things seeing yourself in primary school wearing all kinds of things I don't care what it is in the name that is above all names I command judgment upon those spirits now I command judgment upon those spirits now every voice that calls you forth in your sleep and programs tragedy over your destiny the Bible was not it didn't leave us in darkness as to what happens when men sleep I pray whatever calls you forth and your sleep and reprograms your destiny so that you wake up into tragedies by the blood of Jesus I attack those enchanters I challenge their enchantment in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you prosperity like you have never seen a dimension of wealth like you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus I pray upon you the same way favor can come on a man like a mantle you can carry it you can know you are carrying help that guy please see this will come on people seriously this ministry has enjoyed a level of inexplainable favor I'm praying for you from that which has come upon this ministry let it come upon your life right now I release that favor in the name of Jesus receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it receive that favor receive that favor hallelujah I pray for you and Jabez was more honorable listen honor is not just age honor is a mantle God can is a distinguishing anointing that sets you apart and men not only recognize your difference but they celebrate it I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ from today an unction comes upon you a strange grace that makes men to celebrate who you are and what you carry 
believe me when I say this I pray for you inside and outside from the depth of my spirit that mantle of honor that distinguishing anointing receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your families every project that has refused to be completed I don't care what it is the Bible says the hand of Zerubbabel that began this work that same hand will complete it I'm praying for you whatever has experienced stagnancy in your family I supply spirit power and I command it to start moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ every uncompleted project hear the word of the Lord tonight I command you to be completed in the name of Jesus I've said it again and again that the next level of your life is a destiny help I will listen listen I have seen in my life and I have enjoyed the strange ministry of destiny helpers brothers and sisters God does not need 20 people to change your life one correct person can just step into your life there was a man who some friends insisted he must be healed they carried him and tossed somebody zinc and brought him to those are not friends they are destiny helpers my God in the name of Jesus I don't know where they are who must appear in your life between now and February but in the name that is above all names I speak to the north I speak to the south I speak to the east I speak to the west destiny help us come forth now come forth now financial help us come forth now marital help us come forth now academic help us come forth now career help us come forth now If there are no human beings to occupy that position angels must appear in human bodies and perform that role I pray for you the Lord told us this year is a year of multiplied grace and influence I want you to go back and meditate on it you already see what is happening in the house the house has entered another dimension and everybody who cares has entered that dimension I pray for you I don't know what level of grace you have been functioning in but I pray listen to what I'm about to tell you in the name of Jesus whatever dimension of grace you have seen right now I stand under this apostolic anointing I multiply that grace upon your life I multiply that grace I multiply that healing power I multiply that deliverance power I multiply that grace for favor I multiply that teaching anointing I multiply your influence where you could not have gone by now I pray by the wings of the spirit may you be carried to strange dimensions of influence where your business has not gotten to where your certificate could not have entered in the name of Jesus I expand your spiritual borders and I compel influence in your life in the name of Jesus Christ when you open your mouth to call for help I force your words to enter the ears of an helper in the name of Jesus Christ I say it again koinonia that if you dare open your mouth to cry for help I declare may that word not die till it enters the ears of your helper I speak to the elements of creation I compel them to come in alignment with your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I use the earth as a point of contact every human being works on the earth I speak that anywhere the earth sees you let it compel favor for you some of you may not understand what I'm doing just believe me 
Job said, for out of the earth comes bread. I command. The bread that is buried for your destiny in the earth, I call it out. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know the desires of your heart, but I'm praying that between now and the next miracle service, that you will come and stand before the people of God and testify to the might of God. Everything that has brought tears out of your family, I judge it right now. Every career person, listen to me. We are forcing promotion this year. Don't say it cannot happen. You will fool yourself. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Look, in the name that is above all names, the mystery of lifting, may it come upon your life. Every student here, your CGPA has ears and I want to speak to it. In the name, you had the testimony of that gentleman. He didn't even complete the testimony. He sent me the text. He was praying for 0.11 and that's exactly what he got. 0.11 and it brought him to 3.50. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Especially for those who are just starting 100 level. You will start with a mysterious GPA that will shock people. I pray for those who have tried and tried. But your academics is just hooking you. You have done all you know to do. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bail you out of it this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I pray for you. I must pray for your spiritual life. Encounters that you have never had. Listen. You need encounters in your life. You need encounters. You hear people like Bishop Oyedeko mention encounters and what he transmitted in them. I pray. Strange encounters with the Spirit of God, with the Word of God that will launch your destiny to another dimension. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Nothing dies in your hands. I say it again. Nothing dies in your hands. Those who came from far, I prophesy to you. You left all and paid the price to come. Carry an unction that will shock all that know you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to your campuses, you will go back to your job, you will go back to your doing home. something for with this man of God, our man of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I praying for him bless you that by the, the cause of the, the gospel Lord. may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all Hello. conditions be given unto him. Scriptures exalted from the book of Christianity. It says, my son, to attend to my sins. Don't forget. Incline thy ears to my pattern. word. If you are new, Let them not depart forget. from thy eyes. Leave and keep the them in the midst of thee. Keep sharing. Keep sharing As you have listened to this message, keep sharing. we Jesus. believe See that you, you are going to reap Bye. the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us. Because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.